bushy looking coral. <laughs> Very fleshy. Thank you. That was great. All right, come on. Uh oh. 8K ground fall. On. Herc? Yeah, on her. Yeah, let's take a look at that big rock up ahead. All right. Uh, looking like that's what it is, Jake. Uh-oh. Yep. Not again. Yeah, again. The arm? Oh, the same thing as yesterday? Yeah. Yep. It just happened. Like that. Dang it, arm. Just stretching it out and getting that sample. Yeah, probably. Let's see water in. Nothing growing there. Nope. For the viewer wondering how large we can, or how we can tell how large either a rock or a biological sample is, um, there's two green dots that you can see on the screen. Those are our little green lasers, uh, and they are 10 centimeters apart. So that's a good way for us to tell how big or small something is by going off of that measurement. Ready to move ahead? Yeah. All right. Get pretty extended. Bridge now. Can we do a 10 meter move zero five zero? Do you see that little white spot on the rock there? On yeah, the lower? down lower right. Yeah. I wonder if that might be a sea star or something. Zoom in there, Dave. What are you? It's cute. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> <laughs> the sea star? It's a sea star. Yeah. It's very cute. I'm not sure what kind. It could be a really tiny slime star. Hmm. So a hymenaster. Oh. The smallest one I've ever seen. 
slime stars get their name because, uh, like Coralie's roommate, they can produce lots of mucus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's just a weird curveball thrown in there. <laughs> yes, uh, shout out to my roommate, who is the reason I need my Costco oh, membership. It just opened. Did it uh, prey on the uh, It just did coral? something. I wow. missed it. Um, these something. ones don't prey on coral. They don't. At least uh. I have observe that it like just opened its little mouth or something yeah it has like this sort of uh osculum uh up top so it actually has like this outer layer and then like most of the sea star it's like a tent basically over the sea star and it can it can bring water in through that opening um but its mouth is on the underside well that was weird yeah. so so what does it eat it's just eating the stuff like yeah, the sediment just, stuff? you know, walking around eating little little bits and bobs. Yeah, I thought I saw th something like extending up to the right from it, but that's just an illusion. It's just <laughs> junk, junk on the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it'll get you sometimes. Sometimes like I see something and I'll see it, and then we zoom in, and then it's nothing. It's a rock or a piece of schmutz. It is oh. cute, though. It is cute. Cool. Thanks. Good looking. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. We want to keep an eye out for angular rocks as well. Looks like a collection up here. Yeah, ahead. there. Maybe we can grab one. Straight ahead. Yeah. yeah. There's lots of choosings over there. If the arm's uh, willing. <laughs> well, so far, <laughs> might become unwilling in the future, <laughs> but. See anything there? Yeah, so maybe we could turn and then like get a zoom. Might be a bunch of attached things. It look, they looked really separate from the other angle. Yeah. Now it looks like a ledge. Wonder about this. Uh, oh. This. Okay. Zoom in, dude. Which one are we going for? Right. Is that one? Right here? The one, one behind it. This one. The right there. The littler one, yeah. Is that, is that as much as you can go I, over there? I can just move forward a little bit. Oh, no, I just, you center up the, is that yeah, yeah, that's all, that's all the way pinned over? Uh, yeah, can we, we could try for that one too. Uh, it might be stuck. Yeah, oh, it's like one a larger one. Yeah. See. Yeah. Yeah, I need more zoom on this thing. All right. <laughs> Hop up. Are there any other ones here? Uh, 
three, you can zoom in, Dave. You tilt up. Hey. We could try for this one, maybe. Looks pretty angular. It's or might be it's hard to tell if it's stuck or not. Yeah. It's under the sediment. Bless you. Bless you. No, oh, it's in there. No. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That looks attached. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's part of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, get that one. <laughs> Seeing if anything moves yeah. at all. Try another spot. Yep. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> I bet if we do that for <laughs> the whole time. 50 years, we <laughs> are be able to get it out. All right. Ain't happening. Good trying. Such deceptive rocks. Bob, someone's wondering about, or Jake, either one. Um, someone's wondering about the other arm on Hercules and why we just use really this one. Um, they're wondering if this one does break, couldn't we just use the other one? Do you want to talk a bit about the, the other differences? One, the other one's awkward to control. It's, they're all, um, uh, you have to operate each function individually, so you can't operate it the way you do the craft, where multiple functions are moving at the same time. So, yeah, it's, so it's a bit awkward and kind of uh, clumsy. It is a stronger arm, it can. But the jaw doesn't open up as much. Yeah. Yeah. It's useful for holding on to things. Yeah, it's because it has lock valves, so it doesn't. It's it's convenient to hold on to stuff and lock it in place. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah. It's oh, a cucumber. Oh, yep, there it is. Looks like the same one we saw earlier. Or well, at least the same kind. Might have to put in a move if we're going to go any further. Yep. Would you like to go 20 meters? Bridge now. Can we do a 20 meter move, zero, three, zero? Thanks. Emil, someone's wondering if, when we're diving, is do we follow specific techniques for covering an area to make it the most effective use of our time? Or kind of how do we go about getting around <laughs> yeah we've got an idea of how much uh, ground we can cover how much of the track line we can cover during a, say a 24-hour dive um, I think five or six kilometers is a thumb roll um, and you look for features so we look at the slope of the seafloor uh, we look at backscatter to see what areas uh, look rockier. Can we try and grab one of those? Might have enough leash to get over there. Sometimes we might look at the uh, bathymetry from our multi beam mapping and look for a like an area where there's been a big slump. That can be interesting. It can expose some rocks and create a steep area. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's not like a... Which one in particular? You know, let's just try all of them. Let's <laughs> just, <laughs> just take whatever comes all right, up. I'm going right. Whichever one works best, Jake. There's not like a specific search More pattern yeah. that we use because we're going to be. That one looks pretty not super attached, but. I agree. I concur. Pretty flexible and 
focus on rocks and cliffs that we encounter. Yeah. And the uh, the multi-view mapping can only tell you, you know, it can give you a good, pretty good idea of the steepness, but then it's not going to resolve some of these really s small kind of features. Like skull too. Ooh, weird. <laughs> now we're all starting <laughs> to see things. <laughs> what was in that Gatorade? Oh no! The Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> Calls out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, off a bit. Come on, oh, it's moving. Oh, yeah. uh, Yay! All right, can we get? Yep. Does that look crusted? Looks slightly crusted. I'm kicking up a storm. Oh, come oh. on, arm. Oh. Or the one next to it. I think we're kind of out there. Can you zoom back in, Dave. I mean, can we out. Sorry. Can we try for yeah, the one next to yeah, it? To no, we can get that one. We just—he's got to set me up yeah. a little different. But the one to the right of it looks okay. Maybe more interesting. That's probably good. Right. It set probably down. fell off of this. Yeah. Which looks like pillow. Okay. Can you zoom in again, there? So you want the bigger one? Yeah. You want that one there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like looking at this in the window of a candy store. Uh, oh no! Oh. no. <laughs> oh. Well, not all. Wow. No. Nope. Looks like it tumbled, didn't it? Yeah. Or it tumbled down about uh, 30 million years uh, ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's in there. No. That's yeah. Okay. What about the big one? Which big one? To the other side. <laughs> to the left. This one? No, no, no. We already tried that one. The one to the left of the small one. Too much sediment? There's a bit of sediment on that one. Do you want the small one that's already moved? Yeah, maybe we should just go for that one because... Bird in the hand. Yeah, that mm -hmm. one doesn't move me either. But that middle one is, yeah. Yeah, let's just take the little one. You know, we can grab that one. I have crust on it. Da, 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 da. Looks like it might have a little bit. We'll just take it, if anything. Hmm. Something interesting. That looks like a. Uh, Is it carbonate? Carbon. Yep. Fossilized coral. Do you not want it? We can take it. It's got crust. Yeah. We can place that in starboard B. Okay. Starboard Bravo. Ready? It's in. So for our viewer wondering what the longest dive Hercules has ever done, I believe it was just over 72 hours. Wow. So, a few days. Yeah. Was what? Wasn't it just over 72 hours? No, when we lost it up there <laughs> on the... Uh, <laughs> we spent the whole week okay, on one. Not counting yeah. that one. <laughs> that, I remember... Was it dive? Not that one. <laughs> the longest tethered... Tethered dive. Uh. <laughs> I remember 72 hours in the Caribbean on the yeah. Cayman Rise. Yeah. 
some of the weren't some of the ONC so bags in the, yeah long? some of the ONC ones are northern Cali like northern state ones were pretty long too and then that goes to someone else's question about <laughs> if you have a 22 hour dive like you do now do you have multiple staff changes yes we do well <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> That would be a long... Yeah. <laughs> you could not do 24, 22 hours in here. Um, yep, so we work There's four hours in the morning and four hours in the oh. evening. So, we for example, yep. we are the 8 to 12 watch. So there'll be an 8 to 12 a.m. and 8 to 12 p.m. And then it'll be 12 to 4 and then 4 to 8 a.m. and p.m. So we do take turns. I definitely like this watch schedule better. My friend who goes on other cruises generally has a 12 on, 12 off schedule. That's hard. Yeah. That's tough. I'm not a fan of the 12 hour watches. Yeah. That's a lot long. of people like them. Like Dan, he loves 12 hour watches. How do you eat? On your 12 hours <laughs> off. <laughs> well, what it's supposed to be is you have extra people when you do a 12 hour watch and you can like rotate through. But. Oh. It's so spicy. Yeah, the ship I was on a year ago uh, did 12-hour watches. And we would relieve each other and uh, bring somebody in as a, as a rotating relief. Yeah. Wow. All right. I cannot imagine. You did? So that, that's this is a bolosoma. Bolosoma. They did four hour. Or they did uh, four meal services a day as well. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so that would make sense though if you are working that much. Well, the Doc Ricketts ROV uh, with Ambari, they do. Six in the morning till six at night. Ugh. But they rotate everybody through. So like the there's two seats for the pilots and then they have three guys on the watch. So you just rotate seats. So every hour you change seats. Yeah, that's how the GFOE guys on the Okeanos do it. They'll switch seats. Yeah. So, you know, and then you're off like every third hour so that's not so bad yeah do you want me to stay on the back side of this ridge Emil? Like, uh yeah like. yeah we got some good boulders hanging out there yeah, yeah. <coughs> we did that but i was the only video guy <laughs> you're relieving yourself the other guy the other, guy that, you got <laughs> the other guy that i was supposed to train uh walked uh the last day of mo Oh wow! Oh. And uh, didn't sail. Uh. Oh. Uh, and so if the if the ROV was in the water 20 hours, I was working uh. 20 hours. That's I'd catch not a nap fun. on the bench in the back of the. That's an interesting overhang. Mm -hmm. We were doing a lot of mid-water transits, so oh. transects, so there were some downtime. Some sponges hanging yeah, out. Yeah, there's some cute little sponges on that rock. You want to zoom in the sponge? Sure, okay. just quickly. I think okay. it's a sacocalyx. Want to get a quick zoom, Dave? Yep, that's what it is. This is a sacocalyx. It's a uh, stock sponge in the family Euplectelidae. We saw this on the last dive. Euplectelidae. I like them, I think. When they get really big, I think they would make really awesome uh, furniture, you know, like maybe lampshades. It's like very, like mid-century modern. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> super mid-century modern. All right, that's All right. good. What? You have some big rocks. Yeah. What's that tall thing? Uh, this dead coral? Yeah. Yeah. You got it. It's definitely skeleton. Dead. RAP. So dusty. 
Here with loss, I don't Not a lot of life. Bridge nav. Can we make a 20 meter move, zero five zero? on there. Yeah. I think oh, it's yeah, dead it's stuff. Oh. <laughs> but there's live stuff on the dead stuff, so could still be interesting. Hmm. Oh, that's yellow. Crinoids? You got it. Yep, so these are some crinoids. As we get closer, I think they might be in the family Thalassometridae. Uh, Thalassometrids have these really long arms and very, very long Siri. Those are those little legs and they'll be wrapped around zoom in there, dude. things like this uh, dead sponge stock. They're very articulated mm. little Siri. There's also yellow crinoids like this that have a little more robust Siri, and those are Glyptometra. And a little brittle star down there at the bottom. Possibly in the family Ophiocanthidae. Crinids really like to be up uh, in the water column on stalks and sponges. You'll notice that you'll see a lot of them as we get into more spongy areas. When's that? I don't know, soon, hopefully. <laughs> Oh, we have a good question for the ROV team or science. Um, but mm -hmm. did the ROV ever ditch a sample the if the spider? box are full mm -hmm. and you found something more interesting? Oh, like take one out and throw yeah, it like away? Yeah, if like if your boxes are all full of samples but you found something more interesting, have we ever taken a sample out of the box and put a new one in? Is that allowed? I don't know. I I've don't, never I don't think had to do it. So. It's right, like not well, very good form, so we don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. What's that thing on the yeah. ground? Is it a sea cucumber? Down here. Yeah, a little squishy oh, on the bottom. Below, at the oh, bottom of the yeah. screen. Oh, I see. It's probably a cuke. Yeah. Looking very cuketastic. <laughs> Pudgy cuke. cuke. Mm. Can you zoom in there, Dave? It's a round one. Yeah. It has scrunched up. hairs, dots. Yeah, they got these little projections around their body. So it's another one of those cucumbers in the family Cynolactidae. Cynolactidae? Mm-hmm. This one's kind of cute. Yeah. They're the ones that come in pinks and purples. This one's just a very light color. <coughs> Blush right. pink. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna swim for us. It's think so. getting nervous. Uh, oh, it's thinking about it. <laughs> or maybe it's just gonna scrunch up. Just to the left of it is that dark little pebbly thing, and there's sort of something very round right in the middle of it. 
might be pressing the limits of our zoom, but yeah, yeah. Can, can I don't a, know. Hop up a little bit closer, maybe. But. Just curious when we see a very round shape. The dark thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no idea. It's, That's it's pretty small. The round dot. It could be um, something or nothing. I don't know. Far too small. Good try. Yeah, but interesting. Yeah. It's a really steep cliff. Argus is catching up to you. I got Can you come over to the right and then yeah. uh, pivot to the left and look at the wall? I'm trying to come off. Yeah, I, yeah, it's not quite lined up right. Yep. Pulling you the wrong way. Oh my That's God, a neat feature. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's steep. Megan, there's a question on how does time of day affect creatures that deep, or does it? Um, it doesn't really affect them too much. Uh, they could be affected by uh, tides, so you do have some tidal influence at shallower waters. Um, but yeah, you're not going to have any sort of effect by it being light out versus nighttime out mm -hmm. um, at this step. Still moving, or we stopped? Uh, we s we just stopped. I uh, want to go for another twenty. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Keep moving along the ridge. Ridge now. Can we do a twenty meter move zero five zero?
Got plenty of outcroppings. There's not a lot of life. This is yellow. Yellow? Is it? Oh, that tiny little dot. Oh, I don't know. Could be another one of those uh, urchins. Zoom in there, Dave. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that's what it is. Good spot. Definitely a little more irregular looking for an irregular urchin. <laughs> good here? Yeah, yep. I'm right. good. Come on. Looks like tension's been staying below 13,000. Yeah. There's a little bit of a squall coming through now, I think. It's raining. Right now? Yeah, the winds are at 15 knots. Uh. Is 13 the number you like to stay below? Uh, of 15. 15 K. Uh, of tension. Of tension, yeah. 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 15,000 pounds. That's like our warning level. And then... If it hits 15. Yeah. Yes. And if it hits above 16,500, we have a problem, <laughs> and we gotta come up a bit. Yep. Put it back below five to fifteen thousand. So someone's wondering if it has any significance if there's a lot of fish or not when we dive in places, or does it have no effect at all? Like, does it mean something if there's no fish, or? Yeah, it means there's not much, uh, not much nutrients raining down. So not a lot of productivity in the upper ocean here, is what I would think. That's a steep cliff. And could yeah. be why we don't yeah, see a, a, cool a lot feature. of filter feeders either. Yeah. Look at that. Do we want to try some move zero nine zero? Which direction is this what do you think of these kind rocks? of heading? This shape. Probably, I don't yeah, know. Probably more we could try. Nine. Can we try and collect one of these rocks right here? Sure. Might have to. Yeah, you can get over there. there. I can get there. Yeah. There's also a cucumber. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. On the move. Those are big rocks. Oh, and a uh, crinoid to the right. Mm. About 10 centimeters, 15. 
So this guy. It looks yeah, kind I of think angular. Yeah. think it's loose you would hope one would <laughs> <laughs> one would hope <laughs> you never know oh. no there's no telling please Moment be loose truth. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that looks kind of angular yeah it might be good for amber we turn it around What's stuck to the bottom? Uh, <laughs> oh. Mud. <laughs> can you, can yeah, you turn off the bender? Yeah. It's probably going to be carbonate. Yeah, I think so. Can she not use that? No. Oh. It has to be uh, it's got volcanic. Salt. Yeah. Yep, that's carbonate. It's Is crusty. It? But there, yeah, there's crust on it. I might be able to get something out of yeah. this. <laughs> Great. Okay, where's it going? Can it fit in the starboard boxes? Because we can put it in C. Yep. Yep. Yeah, C is available. And this is 42? Yes. So we've gotten one every 10 meters so far. <laughs> <laughs> 21, <laughs> 90, 80, and 70. Well, <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I'll collect them all in an no, hour. You too, I think, right? Uh, I think all of these are. Yeah, they're, uh, they're. It's fine. We'll do what we can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this cruise has been a learning experience. Oh. And things don't necessarily go your way. Big. You gotta take what you can. <laughs> uh, Maybe E? Yeah. Tough one. Into E. Plenty of room there. Can you mix rocks in a box? Like, can you, you? You can, but I was actually just going to tell Leilani to put a note there for the next watches that that rock is carbonate and to be yeah. careful. Oh, not to break it. Uh, yeah. Sounded a little like Gollum there. Can you mix roxes? <laughs> <laughs> in <the> boxes. <laughs> it is now time for Emil to go to sleep. <laughs> I didn't say roxes. <laughs> <laughs> I napped today too. <laughs> Ooh, well, almost hit the blue button. Oh. Oh. Don't hit the button. Don't hit the button. I wasn't even ready to kill it. That <laughs> right. sea cucumber ended up on top of the rock. <laughs> Personal with the cliff here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to <laughs> change Stop. our orientation a bit. Yeah. yeah. Argus is more upslope than her. Um, I'm moving zero 090 zero right now, uh, but I can back us off.
Or yeah, just, that's, uh, I mean, that should work, right? Zero yeah. nine zero, yeah. yeah. Should. Yes, it is. So this is the type of boulder I'd expect to have lots of coral on it. Artist is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's just sticking out there. And mm -hmm. You want to zoom in a little on the Argus view? I love the shadow it's We're making. We're doing that some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a cool Argus shot. Yeah. From the back, it kind of lo <laughs> looks like a person <laughs> <laughs> huddled over, sitting on a rock. I think it looks like Godzilla. Ooh. See Godzilla. Cucumber. Oh, well, yeah. Or is it a slime star? <gasps> Are we going to find out? I think Cucumber. Jake might be right. <laughs> and then the little there shrimp goes. Yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, the corals and sponges have been pretty it's sparse. Been sparse, yeah. yeah. I've seen just a couple of black corals. Couple. We saw yeah. the Melagorgia, but Nothing yeah, crazy. I would have expected a little bit more. It's like prime depth. It's just really sedimenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so a lot of maybe not a lot of stuff. current. Yeah. Right. But lots of topography. Yeah, the rocks are cool. Like these, you know, nice slopey areas are usually teeming with mm -hmm. corals. Bob and Jake, um, someone's wondering if Hercules has a hydrophone, or is there too much noise pollution? Way too much noise. Yeah. The Argus is pretty quiet, but Herc makes a lot of racket with yeah. the hydraulic pump. Yeah. Engines tend to be pretty, like, broadband in frequency range, too, so they, like, impact a, mm -hmm. a wide range of frequencies, so it's oh. hard, to, hard to get any information from a hydrophone. Something drifting in an orb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah. And it's gone. Megan, I think you're on not SPL. If you were talking to us. Oh, no, I was talking to the bridge. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's something. Oh, yeah, something reddish. Yep. It's a nice relicanthus. Life. See those long tentacles? Very. Wow. Are those tracks on the bottom of the sediment, or is that something? Uh, yeah, those are just like little sediment divots. Zoom there, Dave. Yep. So this is a relicanthus anemone. It's a pretty it's one. Yeah. Long, yeah. They have these extremely long tentacles. It's pretty. Relicanthus daphnae. Below oh, it is a long-legged shrimp, nematocarcinus. A little close, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Oh, 
tentacles go out. Nice shot of the tentacles. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for that look. Yeah, that was good. Porch lights on, is that what's going on here? Yeah, you can bring down the brightness with this. Yeah, okay. yeah. There are a lot of these pink sea cucumbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like there they're, the, they're the apex predators around here. <laughs> <laughs> the predators of sediment. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that doesn't move is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> now. Can we do a 20 meter move zero nine zero? Thanks. <coughs> zero nine zero. Okay, that's a ni nice way up the slope. That's a big rock. Yeah. You want to take that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can get it right. <laughs> Might be a lot of scraping. <laughs> one can dream. It's only like as big as work. <laughs> So because we were talking about apex predators, somebody is wondering what really would be the <laughs> apex predator down here? Down Herc's here. big and loud, but That's a good question. if Herc wasn't here, <laughs> what would be? So the apex predators in this environment are our rat tail fishes and cutthroat eels. So those are going to be the main uh, two big predators that you're going to see around in this area. Um, and then you also have those really large shrimps. Uh, they'll also get attracted to any sort of large um, food feeding opportunity. What's going on in the sediment down there? Where? There are two little feathery things. Oh, feathery. Oh, yeah. There. Oh. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. <laughs> These. 
the Argus can. It looks like there's something big behind Herc. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's ticking up. What is that? We'll, we'll have to turn around and look at it next. I gotta be careful I don't knock it over. So these look Zoom like there, sea pens. And there's two different kinds. Hmm. So this first one is a panatula, a type of sea pen that roots in sediment. It has sort of a feather pen kind of look. So if we were able to pull it out of the sediment, it would have this long peduncle that looks sort of like a pen. And then the top looks like uh, sort of a feather. So that's how it got its name originally is sea pen, kind of looking like a calligraphy feather pen. It's called a peduncle? Yep. That can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what the, the diagram in the book said it was called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. And the other one is a different type. So that oh, really? one, yeah. So the one to the upper left is different. So that could be a protoptylum. Zoom in there, dude. So hmm. they're both C pens. So they're in the Panachalacia, but two different species. Oh, hmm. bouncy. Same color. Yeah. Yep, similar colors, but this one doesn't have like side branches. It's just all the polyps originate from the main axis. And uh, I do believe we're still within the monument boundaries, so um, yep. we won't be able to collect this. But the imagery is great. If we yeah, see like no, if we see ten of them, then <laughs> I want one. one. <laughs> great. <laughs> All right. What's that right. big thing? Yeah, we're about to bump into the thing behind us, the mystery thing. I'll come up a little bit. <laughs> I thought it was just a shadow. I don't know if I can check it out. We're kind of getting up this ridge. Yeah. Argus is getting a little, a little close to you. Yeah. I mean. Almost. It might be a um, sea lily. Yeah, maybe I can just spin quick. Do a little. Can she just back up? Yeah. yeah. Dusty. Yeah. You're almost there. Should be dead ahead there. I know. I'm like, oh, look at that view. I know. Where is it? Ah. Oh, oh my goodness! It's huge. What is it? So that's uh, the um, hydroid that we were looking at the other day, the Corymorpha. So this oh, yeah. is a Corymorphidae. Zoom in there, Dave. So it's a single polyp hydroid, and this one is just absolutely massive. Oh, yeah. So those wow. lasers are 10 centimeters apart. <laughs> wow. This has got to be the largest one I've seen. <laughs> oh. It's huge. Oh my goodness. That's what not what it? I thought it was. It's a hydrozoan um, in the family Coromorphidae. It's a single polyp. Can we get rid of the lasers for a nice capture? Yeah. That thing's pretty. Roger. Thank you. Perfect. So it's a width wow. of the 
That's the body so is 10 centimeters. Like normally they're they're like maybe 10 centimeters in total. Mm. It's so big. It's so big. It's huge. Oh my goodness. I feel like it'd be really soft. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like little balloon animals. I've seen one collected before. It, really? If it gets popped, it sort of deflates. Oh. Okay, don't do that. Oh, it's eating something. <gasps> oh. What? Oh, that there, urchin maybe. Does it eat urchins? Oh, what's oh, that? Oh, what that? oh, that's a scale a worm. worm. Uh, oh. You can see the darn scales. worms. <laughs> Gross. Ooh. Clinging on for dear life. Who's eating who here? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's truly the circle of life going on. Do scale worms eat these things? I have no idea. Great, that's learning. I need a big meal. That would be big, but like you can really Look see at them. it. It's so pretty. You see Ew, how? Oh, Megan. The, the scales are just like iridescent uh, and beautiful. No. It looks strange. You see the bristles? They're like, wow. you know, golden hair. No, it's it? too weird. <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's Our cool. little fuzzy but friend. I don't know. would not be the word I'd use. It. <laughs> it is pretty cool, though. It's an amazing oh, sight. Yeah, that's Rocking really cool. Oh, we're moving. Yeah. That is cool. I think we got some swell. I can't believe we almost missed this thing. I know, this is amazing. Awesome. Asako Matsumoto says, huge. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad she thinks it's huge, too, because uh, I've never seen anything quite this large. It's a hydrozoan. Yeah, this is a good uh, turnover stop. Hi. Sort of. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> if you come mind, Dave, I'll come up before we yeah. hand over. So pretty. I tag it. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're in the middle of about to do a watch change, so uh, we'll be quiet for a bit, <laughs> and then we'll switch out for the next four hours. Thanks for sticking with us. We got... Uh,
Hello world, the 12 to 4 watch is in transition. Please hold tight and we will begin introductions. Thank you for joining us. They were going slow. I can sure get it going. <laughs> Very mysterious. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there we go. Can you hear me now? Yes. Good. yes. How's everybody doing? Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's been nice. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Abby. <laughs> <Good morning. laughs> it is finally morning. Look at that. <laughs> what is morning on the ship? <laughs> I don't know anymore. You're plugged in now. I am. Plugged in. <laughs> I did that I'm the so ready for this. Mm. Awesome. I did that with That's the sunlight like last night. Oh, did you? Yeah, I turned the software on and I the deck box was off and I tried to troubleshoot it for like 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Tim may have mentioned. It's really sad. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Okay. So, we are on our first terrace and we're gonna move move along slowly right to waypoint seven so um are we we're the ship is holding position right now is that right roger yep okay cool um do you know what the previous watch was doing for their steps yeah How they were doing uh i think around 20 meter steps at zero nine zero zero point two knots okay 
that sounds that sounds good to me. Does that um, work for you for you all? Or should, do you guys want to go yeah. a bit slower? Um, that's fine. Zero nine zero, Raj. Uh, I'll get out in front and we can start going, Raj. Why do they, they always work with the down light off? They don't like it, that watch. Yeah, I think Can I, look at I think the key with these lights is, is not that everybody likes them, it's that they're like infinitely customizable. That's okay. really what's cool. Gotcha. Like how do you know how much tilt you have if you don't have a light on it? Oh, wait, they, oh, you mean on Argus? Yeah, they oh. always, always, always have the oh, down wow. light off. Oh wow, look at that cliff. I don't know. Wow. This really is our Pretty first cool. terrace. Sure is. Now, is this the end of a whole bunch of flows, okay. or mm -hmm. are we already in our lovely sedimentary rocks? Or both? How's that for tilt up? Um, maybe we can keep so it. So we're at 2,100 so meters. Yeah. yeah, totally. Okay, Raj. Uh, the previous watch seemed to think that they, they collected three, three rocks, and they seemed to think that they, they, they look like carbonates. carbonates. Yeah, so I think we might already be there. Let's get us some phosphorites. Exactly. Yeah, no. Um, but maybe the crusts are still useful, so we'll see mm -hmm. for a correlate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to when we um, get to I waypoint right. nine. All right. Those Do little it. Uh, cones those that look have been really pointed cool. out. Yeah, bridge now. See what those look like. Good morning, Lexi. Could we step two zero meters bearing zero nine zero at zero point two knots? Thank you. Warm fuzzies. <laughs> that was nice. Aww. What was that? You listened to the bridge? I do, I couldn't hear anything. It was very soft. I had to put mine up, my volume up. That is nice. I'm gonna drop down a little just to look at this prow, but I'll be back up. Okay. This is a wild feature. I'm just being a flashlight right now. I like this new method of piloting <laughs> Arg or Herc as flashlight for Argus. It's really neat. Like it sounds silly, but it's super cool in this really clear water. Yeah, good news. Herc is the ultimate flashlight. Great like scaled image. What's that? So do you get great scaled image, like just larger scale yeah, visuals. Yeah. It can you can kind of get lost in the terrain out here, like, and lose track of where you are, and the like macro features just because they're very hard to see, like light just doesn't travel far enough. Are we ready to begin with introductions? Yes, please. All right, welcome world. This is Brandy Jones. I am serving as your science communication fellow today for the 12 to 4 watch. Really excited to be here. Good morning, everyone. Bright and early midnight for our 12 to 4 watch. I had my first coffee of the morning already. <laughs> if you cannot tell, uh, I'm Amber Saravallo. I'm sitting in the science chair. I'm from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and I am studying rocks from this area for their volcanic history. Now on to our watch lead. Good evening, everyone. For me, this is night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my name is Megan Lubetkin, and I'm the watch lead. For our, this watch, we'll be exploring an unnamed seamount north of Kingman Reef, and we're 
just coming up on our first of a few terraces. So should be really exciting Ooh, geologic we've got features. A fish. We do. Rats. Yeah. Just pulled on Argus. At the end of your tether. Hello oh, everyone. Rats. I'm Mary Dury and I'm your data logger for twelve to four. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hello, Nav. <laughs> That's the energy I'm going to bring to this ship. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. I'm Nia Beckler. I'm from Portland, Oregon. I am sitting Nav, and uh, I'll be here for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gabby Inglis. I'm sitting Herc right now. It's about all I know at this hour. <laughs> Good morning. I am Kylie. I am in the Argus seat. I am doing gauge checks. Uh, next. Hello. With her new numpad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Oh, you're good. Uh, yeah. I'm Ryan Leung. I am a video engineer, and I'm from Long Island, New York. What part of Long Island? East Meadow. East Meadow. I have family Nassau. in East Islip. Very close. Very, very, very really? close. Yeah. Oh my god. Very, I could probably throw a rock and it'll hit your family. <laughs> 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 Don't throw a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like right now. A even. pebble. Okay. <laughs> to come visit. Yeah. Throw some rocks together. <laughs> <laughs> and whose family, though, is the question. <laughs> and if you all didn't notice, this is our very first non-male watch. So we're making a little history here. Great group of people. Send us your questions. I really do like this number keypad. I'm so glad. I can even tab with it. It is quite literally lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all RGB, which is important in this business. It's like a rotating rainbow backlit ROV keypad. Oh my gosh. I just Wait, have to stand up is? a little bit. I know. See this going. Oh I'll my god. Yeah, you can see. I'm yeah. watching the camera. That is amazing. Oh. So tell us about it, Kylie. Why, why do we have yeah. the new device? Because I can't see it behind the monitors over here. Oh darn. Okay. Um, oh yes, yeah, she had it up on the thing. Can you, you can't quite I tell with that number pad. You might want to stand up and take a look at this thing. Brandy. It, oh. is, it is that cool. It's like a nightclub in a number pad. <laughs> in a number pad. <laughs> a good number pad. We, we do gauge checks and we log them uh, digitally in like a Google Docs sheet, um, and it's just easier to do it this way. Is that a holothurian? Yeah, can we get a zoom on uh, this? Uh, is it a holothurian? Oh, there is also a sea pen. Read my mind. Happy. I'm yeah. a little Ooh, uh, stretched out, but I'll give it a go. Two for one right now. Uh, our step just sort of petered out here. Do you want me to put in like five meters or something so we can get a little closer? No, you can go, keep going. Okay. I've got I've got plenty of stretch. Okay. We've got pennies in our bank. Go for zoom. Oh yay! Bridge now. What is this? Wow. This is a sea pen. And That's a sea pen. I believe it's Could called we step two zero meters Umbalula? zero nine zero. Umbalula. Um. Thank you. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> you read yeah. my mind. What is it called? Umbaluba? Umbaluba. <laughs> Without that second B. Umbaluba? It's a mouthful. <laughs> you guys have what you need? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, nice. we do. Now yes. we do. <laughs> wow. That's Give nice. the people what they want. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Is that a coral? Yes, it's yeah. uh, it has a modified base so it can live in sediment. Or okay, go wide. So it doesn't need the hard substrate that a lot of other octocorals Oh, need. wow. Okay. I don't, I mean, I don't think I've seen one yet. Really? Yeah, I've at all. I've seen a couple in passing on the some of the last few dives. Oh, okay, cool. But they do kind of blend into the sediment a bit. Yeah, th and they're like stocked, so mm -hmm. I might be like, just thinking of them as crinoids or something. But I as I got in closer to this one, I was like, that's not crinoid. That's no crinoid. It 
has a backspace button too. <laughs> <laughs> so many features. <laughs> this looks like a backwards arrow, so I wasn't really sure. It's awesome. This is quite the terrace. This is delightful. You can see our crinoid, our non-crinoid friend in the the bottom cam there. Oh yeah, bubble, bubble, bubble. I don't see him. He's down there. Ah, oh, yeah, to the I right. See. Yeah. Mm. He's this. Yes, you do. I don't see him. <laughs> in the middle of the screen, to the right, is the thing that's there. Indiscernible. <laughs> <at this. laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Where's the pointer? <laughs> I can't see it, but I'm also not wearing my glasses. So. Tell a straight bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have anything to say to that. Didn't we used to have a pointy stick in here for stuff like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Before the telestrator. Do I have a pointy stick? I think stick? it's been rendered illegal. <laughs> I could see a laser pointer being over here oh. with all my pens, but yeah. I don't see one. They that? don't work really well on these screens. They like just get, they just get absorbed. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Magic. <laughs> Is it because these are map like screens? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, y'all, we have a quick question in a um, live feed. They want to know, well, well they're a college one. student, and they're looking to take some electives. Um, they're really interested in geology and mapping. Sophomore student, any recommendations you'd like to pass over? GIS. Yeah, definitely Remote GIS. sensing. GIS. <laughs> All right. What is GIS? Geographic Information Systems. Mm. It is, uh, how to explain? Uh, so geography is sort of a science of where, right? Mm -hmm. And GIS are information systems like softwares that let you do analysis with uh, location-based information. So you can start to look for patterns and make all kinds of cool maps and yeah, basically. Oh, cool. That's the And gig. the software is very, very tricky and has tons and tons and tons <laughs> and tons of menus and options and so buttons. So many features. The word you're looking for is powerful, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very likes powerful to crash tool. computers. <laughs> has lots it's of toolboxes. <laughs> you can also make your own toolboxes, which is really spicy and fun. <laughs> I just took a Python programming for GIS class this past term. Ooh, uh, wow. And you learn how to like make scripts and then make your scripts into toolboxes and then you can you can get really deep into the the personalization. I am jealous of this course. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Very useful. Super, super duper. <laughs> I actually haven't gotten to use it on the ship yet, but I was planning <laughs> on maybe doing some side projects, but we've just been so busy. Go Ooh, resume. We might have um, a cup coral. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Or is he in an anemone? No, I no, think no. that might be cup coral. Yeah. I can't wait. It's hard to tell without seeing the side, yeah. Yeah. Without seeing what? The side of the it? The profile. Uh, I, I mean, fear got, it might I be a little too close to the side. I think that might be. It it looks like a cup coral, but also <laughs> looks like an anemone. It's like <laughs> put half the coins in cup coral, half the coins in sea anemone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, go ahead. Ooh, and is that a sponge that is right to the north of it, or am I seeing things like a big stalk? Which north are we talking no, about I think here? It's just a crack. This one uh, right here? up. Sorry. Yeah. That looks like there's just sediment. Aww. I think the hardest thing about these sediment covered areas is a lot of things down here blend into it. Definitely. So it's like hard to tell if it's a shadow or. Yeah, disregard my organism. previous statement. Sediment confuses me. I need my hard rocks. Not this type <laughs> of hard rocks. These are. Ooh, slime Ooh. star. Ooh. I'll yeah. go for a slime Aww. star though. Yeah, that looks cool. We've seen several of these in this region on this cruise. Go for zoom. Oh, what a cutie. Nice. I think you do too. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Strobe.
No, I don't think so. No, I can see it. Okay, go wide. <laughs> There's also a cry noise. It does up look here. like it might be her, huh? <laughs> right here. Got to put some more coins in that zoom bank. <laughs> Megan, someone named Patrick would like to know, what does a watch leader do? <laughs> Megan? Oh. <gasps> Megan? Okay, can you, oh, can you write that down? Megan? Yes. Uh, we have a, someone named Patrick wanting to know, what does a watch leader do? Oh. Hello, Patrick. Um... So in the control van, we have eight people or sometimes more, and we are all focused on different tasks. So everybody has different roles. Um, there's a video engineer working on managing okay, all the cameras. Ready? We've got pilots who are each Pretty piloting sure. a vehicle. We have our navigator who's currently navigating <laughs> with our bridge. <laughs> Um, we hey, have could a we step two zero meters bearing zero nine zero. And then we have a data logger who's logging all that we're seeing and interpreting what we're seeing into meaningful scientific notes. We also have our science communication fellow who's communicating all that we're doing to, to you and reading all of the wonderful questions from the public, and then we have a scientist, and sometimes we have other folks who are engaged with what we're seeing from a research perspective. And so the watch lead, the primary role is to be preparing everybody and making decisions about how we are moving along our dive and how we are going to make decisions about if we're going to go somewhere, if we're going to take a sample, making sure that we um, follow the, our dive plan, but also leave room for exploration and, and making uh, decisions in the moment because that's a lot of what exploration is about. So it's important to have a handle on the different roles that everybody does in the van and be able to make decisions in the moment about where we're going to go and what we're going to do. Um, and that's, that's kind of what the watch leader does. So we have a plan made ahead of time and um, since everybody is quite focused on their own job during the watch, it's important that there's somebody here to kind of bring it together and keep things moving and make sure we get the samples we need and we're going where we need to go. So I guess that's kind of it. Megan, also make sure that I do not oogle the rocks too much and make sure <laughs> that we keep moving on track and don't permanently stay with my lovely basalts for too long. <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, everybody's very focused on their, their role and the scientists are very focused on the science that they're interested in. So sometimes it's a negotiation that we have to make to keep everybody happy and moving along. We also have scientists ashore um, who we're in touch with back here and we're communicating with to make sure everybody involved with the work who's on the ship and who's off the ship are getting their, their voices and needs heard. Um, speaking of our agenda, shall we do a little overview here? That would be great. Yeah. So right now we're on this Wait, really. Wait. Uh, can Ooh. we get can we yeah. get that on um, our satellite feed? 
I think usually people are really mm, like to yes. see the high pack. It is nonsense if you can't see high pack when I describe it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to close your eyes and imagine. <laughs> yes. imagine Visualize. Perfect. Ah, there it is. Channel three. All right. So I am pretty zoomed out here right now. Um, you can see sort of the, the regional view. I'm going to keep zooming out so we can actually see the extents of the seamount that we're on. Uh, these features at um, the top. Nav, you can also put in the next move. Raj, Sorry to no interrupt. worries. I will do that right now. Bridge, Nav. Could we step to zero meters bearing zero nine zero? Thank you. Uh, yeah, so we've got these features up at the top. Uh, I think, I'm not sure which of them is the summit, but I think they are, one of them is the summit of this seamount. Um, where did my mouse go? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's very hard to see it the mouse on It was off to the left there it for a second. It's up at the I top see. near the, oh there it is, you clicked the, you clicked the arrow button, that yes. did it. I found it. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so the, the crosshairs here is my mouse. Uh, so these features are what I'm talking about. I'm not sure which of them is the summit, uh, but I believe one of them is. And we're going to slowly creep up the side of this seamount, and we are hopefully going to end up right here. Uh, right now, we're here where this cluster of color is uh, along what I believe is going to be sort of the steepest part of this slope uh, on this terrace system is pretty darn cool uh, and this map is actually cov colored by a uh, slope so that's why you can see right in here there's this streak of red and then everywhere else is a little bit more green um, that's because this is a much steeper slope than say right above so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get up through this terrace and See some nice outcrops, and then we'll probably move more into some sediment where things level out a little bit. Uh, and then I'm not sure what's going to be in store at the very top, but I'm hoping that those uh, features are pretty cool up at the summit. Yeah. I'm surprised we're not seeing more life out here on this carbonate. Yeah, me too. I would think that we're... Oh, here's an anemone. Here's oh, a life. Oh, I see nice. something in it appears. Look at that. Can you start asking zoom? for sparsely branch bamboo corals then? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that blended right in. It really did. Now we just need a sparsely branching bamboo coral. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I get tricked so much just looking at all these shadows. You can never tell is it something or a shadow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this guy really blends in. Very inky. It has such long tentacles. Te tentacles. Tendrils. I was going to say tendrils. I yeah. think tentacles might be the more scientific. <laughs> <laughs> It's just hard not to think of them sort of as hair. I yeah. Yeah. Okay, go wide. Once Gabby said the other day, like that it was like, like their hair was in front of the face. I was like, oh, now all I can see is shag. <laughs> 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 Trendy bangs. <laughs> I got curtain bangs. <laughs> I'm coming up. Roger. Uh, shall I let you catch up a bit, Gabby, or do you want to keep moving? Uh, give me just a sec. Roger. Oh, Asako is actually asking if we can get a close-up on that anemone again. 
Oh. If we have any coins in the coin bank. My it's all right if we don't. see if I can find it again. I did grab we, some when we were zoomed, yeah. but I don't know if it went in a better zoom. Um, it was so oh. well camouflaged. Does it anyone really see it? really was. I think it might have been it, to the right of it. To starboard of oh, it, it might so, have been one we were looking yeah, for. Yeah, it might be one that I think we scientists. actually have to keep moving. I'm sorry, Asko. We'll get the next one. Okay. Maybe a jumping Ceranthus. Oh, wow. that would be quite amazing. Oh, if is that it? There it is. is that it? Wait. Right oh, there, there, it is. Is. there it is. I'm really sorry. I got to keep moving. Yeah. Okay. All good. That's okay. But now we know what to look for. Yes. Yep. And hopefully we will see another one of them soon. We can get another quick zoom while I'm going up. Go for okay. zoom video. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Um. Okay. It's a really cool view from Argus. Yeah. Very steep. You're giving it the beans. Tilting down. So we do have scientists on watch that are in both areas, biology and geology. So Amber, who is looking for volcanic rocks, is looking for that geology part, right? Yes. And we have Miss Mary, who is looking Looks at things like Argus on the biology Looks like Argus is starting side. to top out. Yeah, sure am. <laughs> Bob, welcome, Bob. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> uh, Bob would like to know, what is the geologic origin of the seamounts? They are volcanic in origin. So what we have in this area is we are in the middle of the Pacific Plate. Is that something really big? And we have, uh, potentially, we I'm have sorry? hot spots that came oh. through this a, area maybe long, a critter long there. ago, millions of years ago. I don't ago. have and it, There's another one of those Syriantha or and whatever, and I don't have time. In the case of for Kingman and Palmyra, they grew to be high enough to like breach the, the surface of the of ocean, and around their rims they had uh, coral reefs grow. I'm and going to uh, pitch a plate the, when we get to uh, the top of this, because I can only come up at about six meters a minute, like full stick. And the waves eroded away the yeah. um, surface portions of these mm -hmm. islands. Raj. You had subsequent layers and layers of different um, levels of reefs forming, and so that's how you kind of have some of these terraces on here. So we've got both a volcanic first origin and then subsequent uh, sedimentary biologic uh, evolution going on with these seamounts. Great question, Bob. Good. Happy to see you in the chat. We have a viewer that's a little embarrassed to ask. But they would like to know if there are any squid lovers. <laughs> I have my squid socks on today. <laughs> okay, of course we have we a little more time. Yeah. That's a crinoid. Uh, yeah, Lover that's a little red cryonoid biology. there. Uh, ocean biology. Uh, I think we all love like squid. <laughs> See, don't be embarrassed. <laughs> and we get squid inked <laughs> multiple times a year. <laughs> squid are really um, attracted to the lights on the vehicles, too. Hmm. 
Kelly, do you want to pitch a plate? Yeah. Which side do you want? Um, let me see. Uh, what's easier? I think I think I uh, think they're both side. port side. Okay. Yeah, I think so. So just, just one of them? Uh, let's stop and make sure we go through the... We will. Oh, right, you're right. You want to do that first? I just wanted to know one or two. Uh, let's start with one. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, power on. Let me know when to blue button. Okay. Is it okay? Uh, we're just waiting on comms. Ooh, are these ripples on the sand? Okay, ready yeah. to enable arm. Yeah, you can go blue. Okay. You got blue? No, I'm going right now. Ready? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Blue is good. Looks like it, but I am also... And Ooh, no, and no, is that another C okay. pin? So far, so good. Um, okay. That yeah, is a like very it. hard ground. Yeah. Um, I'm, before you do anything, I'm going to turn off the bender okay. so it doesn't start shaking on you. All set? I'll wait. And there might be something on the sediment up to the right as well. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unhalting. Ooh, and a Hall Thorian as well. Okay, Seeing a engaged. little bit more life now. <laughs> Ooh, and a sponge. Yeah. Is that a better angle for you when it's when we're uh, excited in? Yeah. Speaking of cephalopods, someone would like to know, are there any nautilus around in this area? Is it likely? Good question. Um, That's a good question. I have no idea. We will look that up momentarily. <laughs> You want just one? One. Yeah, if you can get it. If you get two, it's not going to be a problem. Oops. Okay. So far on this expedition, the only birds that seem to be <laughs> attracted to the Nautilus <laughs> will be the red footed. I think that boobies. might be the bottom one. <laughs> okay. Somebody um, asked. That's okay. That's great. We I also think, have uh, just be gentle. around the brown. Um, you know, do your thing. Uh, footed boobies, the masked boobies, and a few turns. Oh, yeah. And a few, a few what again? Turns. Turns. You can see it on our social media platforms. <laughs> there have been multiple wow, posts nice. about the That's boobies. super slick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Take it out from the bottom. <laughs> that was pretty rad. <laughs> That Holothurian's probably watching that plate. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is this? Sorry. Roger. Ooh, that might be a sea urchin or an anemone. Yeah, from back here it's looking urchin-y. No problem. Okay. Don't. Don't hit the blue button. <laughs> I got that message too. <laughs> now? Okay. Mm, I thought that was a joke. Okay. I blue buttoned. <laughs> Eric would like to know a little information about the sediment composition in this area. Anyone want to elaborate? Uh, 
Okay, so the, to, to respond to the first question, it seems like Nautiluses are, um, can be in this area, uh, in yeah, the Indo-Pacific, but um, are usually much more shallow in coral reef settings, but they do go... Could we step one zero meters bearing zero nine zero? <laughs> they have been spotted to, I think, 700 meters in the past hmm. as a deepest record, so it's true that we are in a region that they could be. I haven't seen any before with with the, with the ROVs, but I guess it is possible. Ooh, another Holothurian. And some yellow features. I wonder what that is. Is that a yellow sponge? It looks uh, like. I don't know. What is that? I, was I am not sure what this is. <coughs> is that something? Like a a yellow orb. Like I think it's kind of an urchin, maybe. Oh. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it an is urchin. an urchin. Yep. Pilots, can you all explain what was the yellow plate that we just dropped? What was that called? Or what it's used for? Um, it's additional weight that we carry that we can pitch. We pitch them, pitch plates. Um, they're also called like Alvin plates because the submarine Alvin uses stacks of them to, they jettison them to um, ascend faster instead of using more of the vehicle's power. They um, can just release their weights and have more um, upward buoyancy. So we just uh, lightened our load a little bit so we can move vertically mm -hmm. more fast. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh That's a nice wow. perspective. Can see those ripples really well with that uh, contrast. <clears throat> yes. Not normally, but today, yes. It is not normally forty. I see. It's normally like a s much lower number. Make believe. Raj. Yeah, yeah, y yeah, yeah. I, I, I noticed it, um, but it, you know, we're not the first watch on, so I was like, maybe would have noticed right <laughs> I don't know like when you're trying to like troubleshoot other things you'd be surprised at how fast like your usual you know what earlier in the watch it has it was lower yeah like all watch it's been like 10 sorry not all watch all dive uh 10 14, ah, okay. 16, 23, now it's 40. There was another one. But AC is Holothurian. usually a 40. We'll yes, AC is usually that was 40. Oh. Okay. I saw you, I saw you just okay, for well a moment. Okay, well, here we are. It's yeah. updating regularly, so. Okay. We will wait for our pilots to just uh, get their bearings a bit more. There we go. There's the blob. Ah, oh, there he <laughs> is. Okay, that sounds good. I don't, I don't think we're in a very precarious position right now. It looks like we're pretty happy. Our attention's been s mostly okay. Oh, Raj. Okay. Go for Zoom. 
What do we think that is? <laughs> I think that's a Hansenotheria. Whoa. I think you're right. Uh, yeah. Yes. That is almost that, a like, perfect. Isn't it exactly like this one? Yeah. Yep. Perfect match for our little guide picture. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a handsome Othery. Maybe it's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's possible we could look up that dive. I mean, these were from the Okanos, right? Okay, yeah. And that was when they came out here? They were in the Pacific. <laughs> I don't know if that was... The building's portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the little spikes. <laughs> Just a couple of them on them. Very good. <clears throat> so this dive is expected it to last be. until 4 o'clock p.m.? That's right. Yep. That's the plan as of Oop, now. Another one down there at the bottom. This oh, is a yellow. different oh, yeah. and It looked like there was a coral there, Rush. too. Oh. I think right there. Bridge, Nev. Brandy, did somebody Could ask we step about two zero meters bearing zero nine zero? Did somebody ask about sediment? Yeah, somebody did ask about sediment. Um, what was that question? Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, if we're clear of that uh, terrace, I am going to change our bearing to zero two seven as well because that is the direction of the waypoint. Nice. Great. 027, roger. So Eric was asking um, about the sediment composition in this area. If you can. Um, well, we've taken a, a, a little bit of a look at it in the lab, but not, not very closely. I haven't, I don't think anybody here has studied it, but it looks like there's shells and some organic material that have, that's fallen down from as marine snow and accumulated, there's also been some little pieces of um, rock, like uh, volcanic um, shards, and some of the sand. But um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a mixture of different biological and geological shards. Oh, another Hawthorian. Oh yeah, that one looks kind of similar to yeah. the one we just saw. The audience just said thank you for remembering the question. They appreciate it. No problem. Sometimes it takes us a minute because <coughs> we're doing other things, but we'll get to it. Absolutely. Is that a coral down there, or am I just seeing a shadow? Um, it down in the middle, shadow. or I uh, saw a coral a moment ago. I, I think I'm seeing a shadow. Ah, okay. Because it'd be weird. It is very cool to see these ripples in the sediment on such a steep cliff. Yeah, mm -hmm. and how they're moving around the rocks, yeah. these bigger boulders. Which makes a lot of sense. It's a lot of wave action. It's almost like water flowing down a yeah. waterfall, <laughs> but it's sand. <laughs> That's a really nice idea. I'm sure the current is doing that. It's kind of, yeah. yeah. Emma was saying that um, deep, deep waves also affect oh, yeah. not not just the surface ones he was he was talking about that during his talk remember yeah. mm. are we pilot pilots are we able to zoom in on that holothurian yeah great I think so. I think it might be another one of the same Hensenotheria. Oh, maybe it is the same guy. Oh, okay. Oh. It's <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> ah, yeah, he would be because yes, another one is up same. on top. <laughs> Hello again. We like you. We came back. <laughs> She's so handsome. Gotta come back. <laughs> Since he's the same one, can we zoom in on the one that is uh, just above further up? Yeah. So we can zoom out. I think you're you're off SPL, but yeah. that's okay. I'm gonna do a quick little bit of tether management sure. here. No yeah. problem.
If you have six thrusters, you can turn so much faster oh, wow. than if you have As one. As we stare into Cliff the edge. abyss, <laughs> go off the <laughs> side of the terrace. You can look in Argus view if you'd like to see uh, the end of Hercules doing a pirouette to take mm. a oh, wrap oh, out of his like tether. Oh, I like that. Yes. Well, right there. Very fancy. That's almost nausea inducing. <laughs> Just a bit it much definitely was. Because I was looking at it in both Argus Cam and Herc Cam, basically oh. one with each eyeball. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like not okay. That is I'm going to have to take a minute here. Yeah, that's a little bit much. <laughs> Meanwhile, the ship is moving at a completely different <laughs> frequency. <laughs> okay, what are we looking for next? We're all set with tether this management stuff. Holothurian right there. Okay. He's in the middle of the screen now. Oh, yeah, I see him. Little guy. <coughs> oh yeah, this really is the exact same spot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our lovely rock with the waterfall of the sand. Yeah, exactly. Woody, oh my God, we have a person named Woody asking if these little creatures move up and down the steep formations. Do we know anything about that? Uh, they can move. Yeah, I believe they move quite slowly. Yeah. So they can do Go that. For zoom. Um, just takes them a while. They can also swim. Yeah, some of them can. It's kind of a weird, a weird, weird kind swim. of <laughs> flopping mm -hmm. kind of motion to swim. <laughs> or I'm sure they could roll on down by accident. On okay, the Nautilus, on. they do accommodate those who have food allergies. Bridge, no? <laughs> do, okay, do actually, they? go full wide. <laughs> do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, well you might want to say the uh, answer to that one, Megan. Zero meters Even though some people uh, are just trying to bring their own. Ryan. Ryan, can you go full wide fine. and get the camera It'll figure it out. It <laughs> 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 was like, do they? <laughs> Okay, you can zoom past all the stuff. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in, Eric, who would like to know, what do you do with the samples once your analysis is completed? Ooh, that's a great question. Well, everybody does different things with their samples. So, Amber, what do you do with your samples when you go back to the lab? That depends. Um, I was actually thinking of that question in another way. So when, so I'll just cover both of them. When we get, oh, and we've got something in the middle of the screen that's a little red speck. I think I'm missing it. Can you point it? <laughs> I don't see it. Are you talking about that? Yes. Uh, it is very small. Okay, I think I'm I not, see it. I think it's in the crack. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, it looks oh, like Oh, I see it. Yep. Nice but eye. I think yeah. it's a shrimp. Small shrimp? It looks like a shrimp. Oh, I love a little shrimp friend. Mm -hmm. But first, when we're Go done zoom? with the dive and we bring the rocks and the yeah. biologic samples up to the surface, we'll take them to the wet lab. And what we're doing there is just basically uh, prepping them for uh, people to analyze later. So they okay. get sent Go to away. different repositories. And then scientists like me can request them. And what I do after I get the rocks, either from the repository or straight from the cruise, since I'm here for this one, is um, I'm going to be dating the rocks. So I'm going to be um, making thin sections for part of them to see what minerals are inside uh, the rocks. Can you and then bring your them. heading back to zero crushing. nine zero? So there will not be anything for me to return oh, to the repositories once okay. I am done. Besides no. my uh, results. <laughs> Got it. No. <laughs> no. Well, I do a little bit something different than what Amber does because I look at the biology 
uh, mostly octa corals and spe specifically bamboo corals. So I might even either take request a sample lobster. or we'll take a subsample if we collect something and use it for DNA um, work. And then you can also do some more morphology work based on what's been collected since these corals have things called sclerites that can be informative on what type of coral it is. Great question, Eric. I disagree. <laughs> it was definitely 1 a.m. funny. All right, I think I actually have to share this one on SPO <laughs> since it is basically 1 a.m. <laughs> Early morning little things. But uh, someone has mentioned uh, how I said uh, what I do with the rocks, that I date them, <laughs> and wondering if I take them to Red Lobster. <laughs> And I indeed very much would take them out to Red Lobster, <laughs> but only for a first date. <laughs> they wouldn't be around for a second one. Well, it's a good thing you don't study, like, uh, shrimps or <laughs> squat lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, do we have a urchin or another we anemone do. up to the right? Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like an it. Yeah. Like something like that. Yeah, I see it. Something spiky. And a holothurn. Oh, and then another holothurn. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. It sure would. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, and then we were back down to two beams again. I was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Actually, what you could do is put vehicle position on USBL. That would be sweet. I think the DVL will get a lot more reliable though. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, when it flattens out a little bit more, it's still like dipping down to three, and every time it does that, it adds more error. Is this a, a coralomorph? Uh, I'm not sure. We'd have to be more zoomed in. Yeah. yeah. I think one of the things uh, uh, go for zoom? needed for analysis, uh, not analysis, for ID is a close up on the mouth. Well, oh, that's an urchin. Oh, but that's urchin. an urchin, so <laughs> it doesn't it is matter. It's not a coralomorph. Well, and it is not a serianthus. I'm out of species then. So. Uh, I've seen it before. <laughs> so. <laughs> me two seconds. <laughs> go wide. Kind of the red. I know Thurio. Oh, I cannot say that word. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too early in the morning for, for Latin. Yeah, it always is. Echinothyroida. <laughs> Echinothyroida? Sure. Oh, Ooh, whoa. Them, oh, wow. Um, I'll just double that check. There's a whole but bunch of them. Uh, oh, yeah, wow. I did the it's a conjugation. 14 minutes after midnight. 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. I like, no. 1, 2, 3, 15. <laughs> there's another one there, now. There's, there's too many. <laughs> I can't count them. <laughs> I'm going to say 15 plus. I've got okay, 17. 1, 2, 3. Ah, <laughs> faith. No, we're not going to do this. Like Powerball numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I've got 16 so far oh, wow. of these. Wow. Oh. Whoa, they're super spiky. Wow. Oh, oh. You say spiky, I say hairy. <laughs> it's like a spiky haircut. Do they usually hang Combine out in colonies them. like this? 
Uh, I don't know about I usually, but I don't think it's don't uncommon. Th I think they're probably all finding a really nice spot where where they can feed, and they happen to all have found it. So it's probably an advantageous. That is interesting. Oh, sorry. Cool shot in Argus. So we're just coming up over that steep part you can see in our slope map and and obviously right in front of us. So oh. maybe getting a little bit more sediment, not sediment, yeah. uh, nutrients right here. Yeah, there might be a, a nutrient kind of current moving across the top of this area. Or even in the sediment maybe. If you would like to see a different view on nottislive.org, check out the Argus view. And you can see a bird's eye view from there. <laughs> They're almost like a fairy ring, <laughs> an undersea fairy ring of urchins. Oh, wow. Look at all the tracks in the sediment. Oh, whoa. Mm. Oh, and you Yay. can follow the yeah, one from yeah. that urchin. All the feeding yeah. tracks. They're all moving along. shrimp. Another holothurian. Whoa. Thank you. And maybe another urchin? A very little one. Yeah. Do we have any coins in our zoom bank? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we zoom on one of the urchins, since there might actually be three. No, is there another one of them? They feed off of the marine snow, right? That look, that looks like. So that's different that look, yeah. from the one we just saw, but, but it looks similar like the to the one, one earlier. Yeah, exactly. Now that's a good question. Do they feed? Are they suspension feeders or? Do they feed off of the nutrients that are actually in the sediment that's already fallen? I think the sediment. I think, yeah. I oh, think it's, it's moving. Sediment. Yeah. But a lot of this whole area, which is covered in sediment on the top, has a lot of nutrients falling down onto it. So I think that's what these little tracks are, but not exactly sure. Argus's main role is to provide light. Um, by hovering above Hercules. Uh, science, now that we're into this sort of flatter, more sedimented area, do you want to move a little faster or are you liking this pace? Yeah. Um, are we going point 0.2 or point 0.3? It looks like we're going somewhere in between there. Oh, uh, yeah, somewhere in between. I think that it may be hard for them to hold point two right now. Okay. I did not call in point three, but it looks like we're going point three. Um, yeah, can we, can we get a slight zoom out on high pack so I can see yep. how far we are from waypoint seven? Is that another we are urchin? 340 is that the same away? one? It's probably looks like the it. same one as before. Okie dokie. And there it is. That looks a little different. I think same, larger, like, I forget if it's family level, what? but um, a little different. Mm -hmm. That I looks different. It's yeah, different, but same, good. like, larger grouping. Ah, okay. Is, sorry, what I was trying to say, I forget what level. Oh, uh, I think order. I same. Is that an urchin or an this anemone? This is an urchin, and uh, so it's the same order as the last one we were looking at, and I think it is a, ooh, how would you say that? Or to, or most somatidae, 
formosoma. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's a good um, question. They are much think, more. Oh, bulbous? I've been told this before, and I'm spacing now. It's early morning. Formosoma. It's like a blend between it and an anemone and a sea urchin. Yeah. Oh, look, it's moving. Oh, yeah, it, is. it really is. Yeah. <laughs> it's moving. Wow. In action. It's pretty One cool. millimeter at a time. It's moving actually qu pretty quickly. Oh. Yeah. oh, it's like, get me out of here. I don't <laughs> want these lights on me. <laughs> um, yeah, na they're all actually pointed down slope. So Nav, I think I think we can move a, a bit quicker if it's possible for the pilots, but um, we're gonna, as we approach waypoint seven, we'll probably wanna slow down a bit, but over this flat area, we can kind of keep keep moving along. Roger, I'll call in some uh, longer steps and uh, maybe come up to point three, although I think it, it's- They already we, are yeah, around we haven't, point three. We so. haven't been calling it in and they haven't been putting it in. So I think that's just the speed that we're able to go okay. right now. That sounds good. Um, Pilots, can y'all explain um, how powerful Argus's light is? Um, Gabby, do you know how many lumens Argus's lights are? Like how powerful the lighting is on Argus? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Gabby, can you get on SPL? They can't hear you. I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> um, maybe a couple. I, it's in the like tens of thousands is that neighborhood. A like, that is a crime. I don't know. Tw I between like, twenty and forty thousand. On deck, it's oh, very bright. <laughs> <another crime. laughs> you don't right ever. It, the lights heat up really fast. You don't ever want to run them on deck. Can we get some zooms over here on? Oops. Yeah. On what? On this this one right here. Okay. Let's see if that's something or if that's a shadow playing a trick on I me I think again. that looks like maybe a oh, coral. Oh, yeah, because there's another oh, yeah. one there. Well, I did not actually mean to hit the telestrator then. <laughs> I was trying to be good this time. Likely story. Amber's back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Go zoom. <laughs> you got me with those Powerball numbers before. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. And it's got it's an like urchin, too. something. <laughs> That was a whole <laughs> thing right there. <laughs> oh, and that botryoidal texture on the rocks, too. What does that mean, Amber? What is botryoidal texture? So you see all you those that zoom little level. circles that were on the rocks when we were zoomed in? Mm -hmm. So that that is sort of what that texture is in a nutshell. Those are all Roger. grapes, is what we mean. <laughs> it's grape texture. <laughs> That's that. That's actually so. It's it's Latin. Uh, Botryoidal is Latin oh, for yeah. grapes. Is it oh, really? is it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. These something. are not actually grapes, but oh. that's why <laughs> it's called. Further? No, that's why they it's are called grapes. That. They're ferromanganese crystal here, grapes. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's how it gets its name. So it's it's a it's a mineral habit. Botryoidal is a mineral habit. So it's um, it's the shape that this crust takes because it's essentially. Um, layers are being added over out outward from a speck like an inner core it's kind of similar to what concretions do mm -hmm. if you've seen those before okay, go on um and so when we have lots of them all on a surface they end up looking like little grapes because they keep kind of growing out these layers over millions of years very cool it's very common in this area due to the age of of the, the seafloor that that we know is around here. So we have um, scientists on the cruise, Coralie, as well as some on shore who are interested in studying these crusts. And then Amber, of course, who's right here, who's studying um, not the crust, but what's below that, the history, uh, the volcanic history of this region. Megan, speaking of crust, um Yep. We have someone asking, does the sediment prevent or avert the iron manganese crust yes. on the rock to form? Ooh, is this a bamboo coral? Sure. Oh, hard oh gosh. <laughs> Do we have any <laughs> of coins in the zoom bank? <laughs> yes. I w no, no worries. No worries. I, 
I, it's good to know because I've been told that we can, can change we? whatever we want on the top screen. You so. you definitely can. Um, it's just it goes black for a second and yeah, I'm like, of course. Whoa. Of course. Do yeah. we have any I will zooms? Do that. Yeah, there go for are zoom. three interesting things here. Nice. So is this a whip? Is it, it is a whip. Um, I think I see a couple nodes, unless it's my eyes playing tricks on me. I'll take your word for no, it because I, see I do too. not so see yeah, nodes. So yeah, it would be a bamboo. Okay. They're like... Okay, yeah, there's, there's one, one here. There's one that was yeah. easier to see at the okay. base, I feel. Yeah, I think there's I a really that. big yeah. urchin up there, too. So yeah. we've got um, two bamboo corals, and then up further is there were another type of coral and urchin oh, yeah. is up there the on the underside. Gorgia, maybe? Yeah. So pretty with a brittle star. All right. Now, is this a sea anemone or is this a ah. coralimorph? Go for zoom. So, oh yeah, I see the <gasps> sea anemone. Beautiful. Mm. It looks oh. like it might be a really big coral coralimorph. It looks like what again? Oh, we're actually um, talking about the um, what looks like an anemone that's on the underside okay. of this oh. little Go ledge. Wide. But what about this one? This we're looks like I call it two things. Metallogorgia, yeah, yeah, with a brittle star. Oh, so pretty. Um, oh. Oh, that looks like the coral yeah. more. Let's get a zoom on that one. Really large. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Go for zoom. You want lasers? Yes. Yes, please. Large. Yes, definitely lasers. Lasers on. So and he's keep the lasers in the in the image for a little while. So his body is a good ten on centimeters. Oh yeah, let's try that porch lights. And the tentacles on extend nice. another twenty total. Is that a polychaete? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh, you're right. Yeah. I love them. Nice. I wouldn't want to meet one in a dark alley, but they're really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled what? Off are they, of a uh, are they last mean? Night. What's up they with look the dark alley? Well, they just look really creepy. What? Well, just, they're, I thought it was they're they look sort of like they're late. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like they're late. Yeah. <laughs> they're in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Go on. Hi, Ella. Normally the dives last about 24 hours. Ooh, and a giant star up <laughs> there. Another percentage sea star. <laughs> And maybe another black coral over to the lower right as well. <laughs> Welcome, Kansas. Gabby was someone who sailed with you back in December, who was an SCF saying hello. Sorry, I missed that. It sounded like somebody, like my SCF, maybe uh, from last December. From, uh huh. She says hello. Oh, wonderful. Um, which which SCF was it? She didn't kind of say her name. She oh, okay. didn't leave a name. Well, all our SCFs last last fall were amazing. So. <laughs> there might actually be another prison, prison coral star, maybe? underneath that that little I love bridge. This like yeah. archway. Yeah. It yeah. might be hard like to get a zoom Middle on. Earth, yeah, archway. Yeah. Do you think it would be possible to try to get a zoom on um, this coral hiding under there? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't even see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's just under the arch there. It's, yep, there, it's coming Super into view. Tucked. Wow. Yep. Oh. Hiding from us. Nice. I, I wonder if there's an bamboo. interesting little current that, that cuts That is an impressive there. zoom, considering what yeah. we... Oh, and there's and a there brittle star. A, yes. Wow. Lots of things hiding in that that little archway. Oh, that's some, for me. Some friends on top too. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that is on top. That little white. Oh. What is that? Um, I feel like I've seen these before. Can we get a zoom on that as well? Yeah. The, this little one right there. Yeah. Go and for we've it. got you can some potentially further? cup corals as well. Actually, go wide. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna try and perch. We'll be yeah. able to get that a little better. So we've got a nice little ravine of diverse biology. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little spot. Gabby, the name was Lisa. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> it's good to see you again, hear you again, <laughs> see your typeface. Oh, and there's <laughs> more over here to the left as well. Are those sea pins? Maybe. So, see, I don't know. I don't know if that's like how much sediment versus hard rock is there? Oh, I have to keep going. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, get that. that no, that's OK. More coins in Go, the let's see. Zoom bank. Go for Zoom again. Let's see if we can see <laughs> it again. Zoom bank. 
Where, where even was it? Oh, it's, it's so it's there. It's, it's very, very, little. very small. And then there's a polychaete again. <laughs> yep. Oh, those are I so cool. I always think wow. of these oh. as very, very tiny. Um, oh, and now I can't think of the word. Wow. Okay. Go wide. That's good. Mm. I think like there's... Millipede? Amber? No. Huh? What were you going to say? A millipede? No, no. A roly-poly? No, <laughs> it's, it, it's long extinct. Oh, oh. The, uh, long extinct? <laughs> long extinct. No, 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 no. Uh, no. A trilobite. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a nice guess. Oh, man. I can't think of the word. That's all right. That's okay. Thanks for coming around. Mm. No problem. It was that uh, deep sea predator from, what was it, the Devonian or the Carboniferous? That looks okay, similar to a polychaete, but a much, much larger. Right now. Cool. Uh, that's good. That did not help me think of anything. <laughs> uh. Pause and what? <laughs> nope, we're good. It's pretty easy flying here. Zero two five, Raj. Oops, that's not. We'll want to pause before before things start to s steepen up a bit to get rid of some of the layback. Garage. Oh, there actually isn't that much. Never mind. I'm going to go look at these rocks over here. Did you have tilt on again? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's my. Uh, sorry. Oh, yes. I was getting away with it every time, but then I like. Yeah, I caught you. I know. You're busted. Uh, cookie busted. jar. It's fine. <laughs> I'll let you get away with it this time. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Anomalocaris. That's what it was. Yep, look, somebody oh. in the chat just looks right. like a very I was gonna tiny guess that. That was going to be my next guess. What's a picture? The Anomalocaris? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> That's a reasonable guess. Indubitably. <laughs> So whatever this echinoderm is, it's moving really fast. <laughs> like really fast. Oh yeah, it's cruising. Um, wow. Oh yeah. Go for zoom. And an urchin maybe? I think With the like so. oh, weird little that bubbles kind. on top again? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah those are totally moving. moving. It's like a little oh, hovercraft. He's really moving. trucking. <laughs> uh, can you come down a bit? How cute. Wow. Look at him go! <laughs> wow, wow buddy! Training for a road race or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's and trying it's to catch up with the other one. Yeah, it's almost ghost like because we don't see a trail very, an, or at least not a very clear one no, behind yeah. it. No, yeah. Very Is it because he's not feeding? Will they only leave a trail if they're eating? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a good question. So it's still kind of like dragging, ish. Hovering, hovercraft. Hovering. Oh, hovering. hovering is not sure it's one moves so quickly. That was very frustrating. Where are you off to? It's like a now, the this rabbit one's from definitely um, late for something. It really <laughs> is. It even has two little ears, like the white rabbit, <laughs> but he's red. Why is it keeping these, like, balloons? Yeah, it's going to a birthday like party. <laughs> I forget. I think they are, are grass-filled, but I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, I wish I remembered. So... Are they the spines, and then there's separate thicker Little tentacles that it's running on. Those, so there's the spines, and then the tube feet would be what they're like running on. Okay, tube go on. feet. Tube feet. Someone would like to know um, how fast can sea urchins move? Do we know mm. that? Good question. I'm not sure no, sea star. what the fastest sea urchin speed is. Yes. I'm not sure either. Go for zoom. 
I don't think they're quite known to be fast, though. <laughs> Is that maybe a permnoid? I think so. Oh, yeah, I think that's a permnoid. I don't know what kind, but... Oh, apparently those um, little balloons are not filled with gas. Huh? According to Deep Sea News, the big puffy balloon-like sacs have an offensive substance in them. Wow. Oh. The spines mm. function similar to hypodermic needles and may emit a offensive fluid to ward off unwanted visitors. Wow. I think we count as an unwanted visitor. <laughs> I okay, go think on. so. I believe one has been sampled before from the Pacific. Uh. I think it was on Nautilus. Interesting. But um, or if I don't want to hold myself accountable to that last part, but <laughs> <laughs> I do, and I, I do know one's been sampled from the Pacific. We always wear gloves. <laughs> so apparently, sea urchins can move at a rate of about one to two inches per minute. No. It's pretty quick. And there must have been a lot of them over here. We have a lot of feeding trails. Mm -hmm. I'm coming up a little bit. What's up? That's okay. It's totally fine. Um, we'll shoulder up when we get a chance next time. It's totally fine. Yeah, I've been watching it in Argus. It's not going to like... Um, it's sort of elbow out, and I just sort of use, yeah, I, I mean, like, um, shoulder, shoulder down, really. Um, and uh, I just used it to uh, do a zoom, and it was great. I loved it. It was a feature. Do we have any coins in our uh, zoom bank? Yeah, what do you want? For, yeah. oh, there's this two coral. things. Uh, first, there. that small coral, and then the there. potential anemone and coral that's up behind it. Ooh, that coral Go for zoom. Cool. I think it's, yeah, it's a black coral. All right, mm. now where are the ones up top? I'm good for this coral. Any captures? I'm like waiting for the bobbing to come out of her. Can you come I, down? I, I don't, I, it, it seems it's, it's I don't know. It's the heave, it's not me, it's the heave. I, oh. <laughs> you know, I don't blame you. I pay out, and then I'm like, that's too close. And then I pay okay. in, and I'm like, that's too close. We want to look at these next. Yes. Wow. First the anemone, please. Okay. Oh, and he's got a brittle star associate. Oh, this looks like, this looks like the anemone we saw earlier. I think, oh, I no. think we might want to... We'll need to try to get a close-up, maybe, of the mouth. Yeah, if possible. Yeah. Oh, that there goes that brittle star. If we need to to stop moving for a moment, we might want to do that uh, to get a really good zoom. We it's okay. Just We're good. Coming to We're good. The, okay. I'm just going to change my heading. It's looking at us. Perfect. It is. Go for zoom. So pretty. And enemies always manage to look iridescent somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They really do. It's really beautiful. I wonder if it's because they're like partially translucent in places. Is that what it is? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Are you guys getting what you need here? Um, yes. We're so asking the yeah. chat right now. Asako, if you're seeing this, um, 
is this a good good enough zoom to identify what you're looking for with the mouth? Like there isn't much closer we can get. It's yeah, yeah. it's just. <laughs> I think it's so its it's hair is in front of its mouth. Yeah. You can see it a little bit though, in between the tentacles. I could watch it forever. This yeah. is awesome. Good too. Mm -hmm. It might even, you know, open up or something. <laughs> oh wow. The Argus view is once it gets really comfortable nice. with us. It's quite big, right? It's maybe fifteen centimeters. Can you go a little wider and get the lasers in there? There we go. Yeah. Fifteen centimeters. Wow. Someone in the live feed would like to know, uh, does okay. the light from How the are we doing on this? bother or affect the We're not going to get a, uh, uh, I mean, oh, go in. I don't believe it does now. too much. Yeah. Oh, rats. Yep, we, we, our chance. we had the laser on it, Asako. It looks like 15 centimeters. It's just okay. above the view. Okay, you can push in a little more. Um, okay, so <laughs> our, our scientist ashore is, is wondering about the sample potential for something like this. Mm. I can seems you take a look at where the ship is relative to where we are? Yep. This seems quite large. I mean, it's kind of going to go the same as the last one. Yeah. Um, it's not going to fit at 15 centimeters. It's not going to fit in the, in the slurp. In the slurp. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Um, um, and also, I can try the same thing. It's on a protruding rock at least this time. Well, here's the catch. These supposedly also jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to step back from this rock for a little bit. Uh, can you go wide video? I need to get sorted out. Um, Nav, can you mark uh, where we are? Uh, just put the cursor on the spot that we're at. In in what sense? In in Nav in NavG. Uh, you want to do you want to reset? No, I just want the cursor to sit there so that I can find my way back uh, okay. if I need to. I gotcha. I gotcha. I misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to make sure that I have because we're if we want to sample that we're gonna have to move the ship back. Yep. I'll drop a target in back. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just easy for me to see things in. Looks like, is did the cursor end up there? Yeah, I put it there. Uh, I don't see the, oh, it's just behind the blue. It updates. Um, there it is. There okay, I just can't see it. Um, so, so, okay. So what are you thinking about this sample? I'm, con uh, I'm conferring with this scientist ashore, jump. but but my I would love to see that. Well, yeah, it's going to go. It may go slightly better than the last one, just because um, it's like on a protruding rock. But um, but yeah, I mean, I can try. Yep, that's um, all I can do. Or well, actually, I think Kylie's doing it. So yeah, Kylie can try. Okay, so let let's not do it yet. We're waiting to hear back. But one. Uh, idea that I was wondering is if we did try um, to if we did try to collect it and it jumped that would also be a nice indication that it is the species that we thought it was okay. so it's still yeah, useful information. I do information. think this one has a um, better potential than the last one just because uh, it's not flat to the surface so like the the wrist gets in the way. If it's like flat to the surface, the wrist sort of gets in the way of getting the like pinchers all the way down to the ground. Um, so this one doesn't have that going for it. So um, I guess we'll. We can you want to step back? Uh, let's wait and see what uh, Osco says. Okay. Uh, the the ship is currently stationary, so okay. we can cruise. And Um, so another important thing which we were just trying to do um, is to understand 
or to look at the mouth to, to better identify it. So even if we get close to it and we get some better imagery of the mouth, that's also useful. Several okay, of let's our move the ship back. Roger. Uh, one zero meters? How much? Uh, two zero? I don't know, you tell me. So actually do something more like the same thing, but with like thinking about where you're gonna put Argus next. So you want Argus to probably be like here? Yeah, and that's gonna be your move with the ship. Raj, so we'll do three zero meters bearing four five, zero four five. Sounds good. And in the meantime, we'll look. Bridge now. see that, that looks like, um, can you look down more? That looks like we have. Uh, could we step three zero meters bearing? Huh, interesting. Two one zero? Just kind of looks like the tether wants to lay as if it has a wrap in it. It's not actually doing it, but it it's thinking about it. Uh, do you have any, you don't have any more down, do you? Do that. I wanna see if that came out. Looks like it came out. Okay, great. Looks like it came out came uh, came out. Okay, we got a ship move back to look at that. Perfect. Um, yeah, even if we just get some, some better zooms on the mouth and yeah. that, that'll still be really useful. We I, do have I mean, so the one thing that seemed to help was a little bit of thruster wash, you know? Yep. Um, yeah, I think this is a this is worth our time because we have several shoreside scientists interested in it. Cool. And they've only ever tried to collect one once, and that's when it did some jumping. I hope it jumps. <laughs> like, I really want her to get her sample, but I also really want to see it jump. <laughs> yes, that Me will too. be quite interesting to see. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure. That's the reciprocal, yeah, 225. Yeah. Yeah, and can you come down too? Is that a sparsely branching it bamboo? Might be. I believe so. Do, can we oh, wow. do a really quick zoom? Yeah, had please. Definitely. This uh, might also be uh, a like pretty please. Yeah. <laughs> pretty please. Wow, that looks oh. exactly like what you're looking for. Oh. Can we do two samples? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. This is, oh, this is our chance and at a flying coral sample. What are these little, Shall little we hold position here? Palm trees. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this seems like you couldn't get more of what you were I looking know. for. <laughs> this is a very nice biological spot. This is yeah. a bio moment. Let's hold, let's the hold moment position. you've been yeah. waiting hold for, Miss Mary. It is. Oh, look at these. I hope this is it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So you remember the what we're going to try and do for this? Uh, oh, yeah, let's start with just getting the arm on in a very uneventful manner. I was thinking about the sample, but... Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, okay, so turning the arm on is going to be power first. Are you able to see nodes from here? And then when you get comms, we'll do blue light. Not quite. Uh, not sure. Mary, you want to get a little, give a little background about why you're looking forward to this yeah. sample? Yeah. So, this is what yeah, my advisor tether, and I have been calling a sparse branching bamboo coral, or what we think 
Like we've, we've got this. a full view so of the whole trailer. So if you kind of ignore that little branch, it just kind of looks like um, a normal whip I just whip don't want to get pulled off. But um, then you have okay, a branch. So and so we think it's kind of odd uh, you can turn on your blue that light. it is suddenly kind of branching. And so my advisor first I'm saw turn off one the of these, I think back in like 2015 or something. The bender here. And was kind of started to be interested and if it was something suddenly branching or if it was some colony settlement. But he started to see more of them. And so okay, you now I'm investigating them to see what. We're going to put the arm out unique with the jaw. Morphological you're going to hold the jaw sort of like half open. Potentially Make sure your grip uh, force is at nine so it'll close fast. Too. That so it's all getting the sample will help. You know, hold the jaw out in front, um, uh, mm -hmm. like half open, so that it's holding the trigger half down. And I'm going to try and you fly just need it. a snip, right? And then you can snip, make adjustments with the arm too. It's going to be a sort of a little zoom of that branching point. And yeah. So, so um, before we do any uh, thing with the arm, can we get some really nice zooms in on where it's branching? If possible. Okay. Is that another one below it as well? I the can't. The little guy. It's I can't quite possible, tell. Go for but zoom. we're too far to fully see. Even the one in the. I don't know. Not. I don't think the one in the background. <laughs> Never mind. Mm. Maybe. And I think so. You remember with coral cutting, you want to make sure that you've got your cutters sort of on the away from you side, like on the base of it so that the f the gripper bit is in do you know what I mean like the cutters yeah okay yeah look how well you can see it in Argus's oh, view as well yeah that's a really beautiful shot and then is there any more zoom left to get right there nice Awesome. Thank you. So you guys want above or below the branch? Who is below the branch too big? Um, I don't let's, know. Yeah. It might be. When we, let's just do above. When we're done with the zoom, maybe we can take a look at the whole size with lasers on the... We'll see where the lasers are, but if they're on the rock below, we could try to measure. Okay. Okay, go on. So it is kind of closer to the top. So, yeah. Yeah. so there's, because we have to do this flying, there's a chance that we're going to get slightly more or slightly less than we want. It's just a little less precise just because it's so tall. Okay. Um, we'll do our best to keep the sample very conservative. Yep. Um, but it's just a little bit more risky to do it this way. All good. Whatever you can get, I will be happy with. Okay. So we're going to try for above the branch, just one of the fronds. Okay. That's perfect. If that sounds right yep. to you. That sounds good. Okay. I'm going to back off a little, and you'll have a chance to get the arm out in front. And can are we full wide, please? Okay. It is 1.35 in the yep. morning. We'll fly away and get ourselves settled again to stash it. We may want to do a slurp for this, uh, depending on what science asks for. Oh. Okay, so video for a while. I'm going to want to keep the porch in view. Um, it's just going to help me have a little bit of reference as to where the vehicle is. So just keep that full wide until we need more. Gotcha. Uh, the bender, I think, is off. Yeah, it's off. Okay, let's get that arm out in front. <laughs> nope. You ready? Okay. All right, Steve did say he had a good feeling about this dive for me earlier. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so let's hope this is actually one of them once oh. we get back to the lab. Mary, what was the, what did you think this was? So this, so I think this is the coral I've been studying and hoping to get more collections of that would be a sparse branching bamboo coral. Do you want to get, can you get the arm a little bit more in front 
and a little closer. There you go. And now, um, yep, perfect. And I'll get you right in there. I think it might be a pretty quick sort of thing here. I'm gonna do the writer, the writer, <laughs> rightmost frond. Nice, that looks good. Yeah, uh, just get the scissors on it there. Not quite. Scissored. It really doesn't want to go. It must. Here, I'll get you more. Uh, it's okay. We have a sec. You can keep the jaws right where they are. Uh, and yeah, we'll back up a little for you. There you go, get that. Oop, you kind of missed the scissors there. You went a little too far in. Come back out just a little. Get it on the scissors. Yeah, there you go. Perfect, beautiful, nice. gorgeous job. Go pilot. Awesome Very job. Very impressive, perfect. And it's safe and And it's hanging on. Disturbed. Mm -hmm. nice. Do you have, are you guys okay with a slurp on this one? Yep, uh, you can do slurp one. Okay. Really nice job, that's great. Uh, and data, this is zero four two, correct? Uh, four three. Four three. Do you think we could get a zoom on on the snip? A really yeah. nice one. You can call your zooms. I'll deal with the hydraulics. Oh, that's great. Awesome. Really nice. Okay. Super fleshy. Yep, all set. Thank you. Snip and slurp. Snip and slurp. Snip and slurp. Uh, what's our jar? Two? One. One. It's all you. I'm excited for you, Mary. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Me too. That was a really perfect sample. Pretty slick. Slurp, slurp. <laughs> Watching that go in is really fun. Yes, <laughs> that was nice. There it Yay. is. Yay. Okay. Oh, that's way bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big one. Okay, got to remember to rotate the sample jars so that it doesn't try and escape. <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing, actually, I've heard with some fish that they'll find a way out. Yes. Hopefully the corals cannot do I that. <laughs> well, we're about to try and get a jumping anemone. So. <laughs> yes, let's see. 
All right. Nothing you can't we handle, We actually Gabby. have a picture in yes. the chat of the last Ready? one jumping. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm going to... Great. Bender is coming back on. Oh. I feel like I have to like think very carefully through that every time. Uh, yeah, we're going to end up with that, like doing something we don't want it to do. Um, are we ready to... <laughs> Is that a little jelly? No, oh, yeah. Was that our first tentacle? sample for this dive? Yeah. And mm -hmm. that, that was, was our first sample, right? That was our first biological sample of yeah. our for watch this and for this for dive. Watch, I mean, yeah. That was your first coral snip? Oh, I'm glad it was mine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> glad it was for me then. A plus, that was amazing. So now we're headed to get the jumping anemone, hopefully. <laughs> you did a great job. It was perfect. Is that it also another, another sparse brancher? I think it might be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I want all of them. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's Do you want to zoom. zoom on the other sparse branching one? Yes. yes. Okay, where is it? <laughs> It is down on that side of yeah. the rock. To the left on the bottom side. Um, not quite, so down more. I think it's just off the screen. Yeah, we just, uh... Yes. Uh, yeah, I can. Um, I was concentrating on something else. Um, off the screen uh, at the, the bottom, bottom on yeah. the left. Uh, kind of at this point, I think it's sort of center, center left. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, there might actually be sponges here too. Is that it right up? Mm, a little further down. Uh, yep. Is yes. it? Is this that? it? I think it's that one. I think it's this. Might be slightly yep. predated upon. Oh, this one guy. One of the branches. Yeah. Yes. It's at a weird angle. Go for zoom. Oh, there's so many different coral types here. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, no. This is not it. But it is uh, a bamboo coral. Oh, it's very unusual. And huh. he's being eaten by a oh, no, snail. You can go in a little tighter. Where is so. the snail? It might be up at the very tip. Oh, I yeah. see. Is that what that is? I'm not sure. The predation definitely made it look like it would be one, but it's not quite right. <laughs> Ooh, and that is another type of urchin down there? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a bryozoan that was up on. Oh, whoops. Do you have what you need here? Yes, yes. we're okay. good. Thank Go you. Uh, a lot of black corals, too. Okay. Um, okay, what's next? Let's get let's get back to our anemone. An enemy, yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move the ship. Great. Thank you for that detour. Bridge, now. Yes, very much appreciate it. <laughs> Could we step two five meters bearing 210? Thank you. So our, our scientist ashore sent us a picture of this, uh, the Serianthus, that, the anemone that we're going back to, or the one that we think it is. And it really is jumping right off the rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's a, it is. It's a pretty striking it? image, so. I didn't look close enough earlier. <laughs> Yeah. The the manipulator arms are reaching out to grab it and it just like jumps off. Yeah. Yeah. It goes a good three inches. Oh. At least. Away yeah. from the arms. 
Yeah. So if it does jump, we'll regroup, or shall I just keep, um, should still try to get it? It's like not like a frog jump, right? Like it's uh, not gonna keep jumping, is it? I, I have no idea. I'm not <laughs> sure. Um, but so th this is interesting, I think also because typically they're, they're known um, to be on the sand and this one is on the rock, similar to another one that was seen at Johnston uh, at a previous expedition around here. So any any more imagery we can get, we, we can try to sample it. I think it's gonna be pretty tricky um, considering how big it is and that it may run away from us, but we, we can try. I think we're coming up to it. That looks like the coral we were seeing by it. Oh, That's yeah. It's Pleurogorgia, I think. Was that was that it? Just off on the right? I think I think it's down bottom yeah. left, like kind of center right yeah, now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe now more right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's it, down there at the bottom. There? Or no, like over here, right here. Yeah, okay. So it's in the bottom center of the screen right now, and I'm yes. just coming around to gotcha. it. Gotcha, yeah. That coral was a great marker. <laughs> oh, yes, there it is. Now I see it. Yeah, I see the wrap. It'll come out in a sec when right. we're done with this. Oh, there's uh, going to be some cool views in Argus for a little while, at least until Argus moves past Herc. <laughs> Go for Zoom. Ah, it still doesn't want to show us its mouth. <laughs> There you go. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, go wide. I'm gonna get set up here to spend some time. I was wrong. It's not a Pleurogorgia. It is a Ramulogorgia. Thank you, Osako. It's, I mean, it's on a protruding rock and it's got a long stalk for a base. This is a way better setup than our last anemone. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Unless it chooses to bail. <laughs> Very entertaining, but bad. You want to wait for it to settle? or? Um, yeah, I'd like, yes, because it's waiting we could for still us. get like, sort of yanked around a bit. We're not going to sit very nicely for a little while. I tried to give you more down and then the heave picked up a bit and I'm yeah, so close. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. I think it's great. Okay. Go for zoom. So pretty. So I have a question. Yes. And I think it might be, um, a silly one. Sure. No such How thing. How if so it jumps because it knows that we're here and it doesn't want us to mess around with it. It doesn't have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it has like an How does it like know? When we like touch it. Yeah, the, the, I think like that kind of sh shimmery outside of it is sensitive to the movement of animals or water, and if we kind of come quickly near it, it's probably going to sense okay. disturbance. So it's like a sensory input, like, I yeah. think so, but let's see what Asako has to say from, from like shore. So uh, one kind of thing we were situation. thinking about, even if you don't want to sample it, is if you wave the arm near it, it, we might get a better shot of the mouth. That would be excellent. I think any, any good, really good imagery is going to be very helpful even if we don't get a sample. It's, I mean, it definitely doesn't want to pose they for can us. Feel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They can feel, is what Osako said, yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's um, 
let's let's try to do that. Let's try to get some really good images, and we could um, we could also do a Niskin here. That would be a good idea, I think. Okay. We can't get a sample awesome. of this. So. I I think let's see how we do with the images and then make a call. Let's start with trying to identify it with the mouth and okay, then see where go we're at. Away. Let me know when you get comps. Um, yeah. Can I flip that screen? Okay. Is that okay with you, Gabby? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, actually, <laughs> Megan, Megan, you don't need to ask me to flip it. Just let me know. Okay. Say I'm going to flip it. Sounds good. Um, we can we can start off with trying to move the get it to move its, um, I'm just flipping it back, getting it to move um, with the arm to see the, the mouth, and then we can try to line up for 4K if it makes sense after that. Okay, you can hit the blue button when you're ready. Okay. You ready for juice? <laughs> okay, you've got the juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just full beans? Just as gentle as possible. <laughs> As a brittle star moves closer to view it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna try and get you a really good measurement on it. Oh, oh that'd be oh, great. Yes. Nice. Ooh. Looks like it's got little laser eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's cousin it. It it's has like Muppet that energy email with the haircut laser eyes. swooping in front of it. <laughs> um, can you zoom a bit? There. Okay. Great. Uh, go wide. Let me know when you're ready for the zoom, and or Ryan, and we'll get the mouth. Well, that didn't do much. I think it did. I think it. I, th I really true, think it did true. make a difference. Um, oh, yeah. But we, let's, let's try some other that, things. That definitely um, made a difference. Video and uh, Argus. I'm going to do some playing with lights to see if we can get a, to see if we can improve things at all. That's not mm. better. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's dramatic. I like Ooh. that. I like that. That's really lovely. I don't know if it's more helpful, but maybe it is. Oh, it's great. It's awesome whether or not uh. it's helpful. Yeah, actually, I feel like you it can see like it. It looks like it is we very helpful better. to a stock All girl. caps saying yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> awesome. Uh, you, it's very hard for you to see, I realize. So, um, you, yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Gotcha. <laughs> it is being very tolerant of us thus far. Mm -hmm. So if it's on a stalk and it's stuck to the rock, how does it jump? I think it's more like a hold fast kind of situation all the way. So like it's kind of more, I f it's probably more suctioned on. Yeah, Ryan, I think that's going to be the, the methodology there as she... Oh, come wide, please. It's okay. Gotcha. Are you okay if I look at it? Go, you can push in. It looks like it's thinking about making a run for it. <laughs> oh, 
Maybe. <laughs> Is this pointed a different direction now? So, so I think what would be um, better considering the size of this and, and everything we know about it is if possible to try to get a snip of one of the arms instead of the whole. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Do you cool. think that would be possible? I don't, I don't know how possible that is on your end, but. Yeah, because I think we've only seen potentially we've only seen a few, three so of these total. So we would need to see 10 for a whole organism um, in this area to collect it. And I think it'd be better that we don't disturb it, but we now have great visuals and we know that this is the one that we're looking for. So even just getting a little bit of a snip could be useful. And knowing that it occurs at this depth, this is a little more shallow than Okeanos. Sure. Yep. Can you go half wide? Yep. Like, yeah, sure. Okay, one thing I was, so, with, um, not, not like, not coming like this. You're going to be, you're gonna probably blind yourself to the cut. So instead of cutting on the right-hand side, I would cut on the left-hand side. You're going to be coming in from the right, but you're going to cut the left-hand side of it. Because if you try and cut the right-hand side, you, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. OK, um, go wide, please. Uh, Oh, uh, quick question. What yes. do we want to do with these? These look very neutrally buoyant. Yep. It seems like we probably want to slurp them. Yes, we yes. would. So we, uh, even if we just get one, one little snip, that's fine. Just a little piece of any of them, and then we can slurp it. And if you need to do that quickly, that's fine too. It actually looks like you can just come down from the top. I, you'll have to see what the actual arm geometry is, but it looks like you got a lot more options than I thought. You're not, we're not very stretched out. Uh, the tape side is the side we should be looking at when you cut. The other side. Non-tape side. Um, I'm going to turn on another light. Just one second. There you go. Calling the zooms is all you. I don't think we've touched him yet, have we? <laughs> <laughs> that is touching. <laughs> yes, I see that. Thank you. Can you show me the center of the ship? Cool. It really oh, doesn't, it doesn't want it oh, really doesn't auto. want to. Yeah. 
I centered it on ship, it should let me. There you go. Just zoom out. That's plenty, yeah. Mm. Nicely done. Really well done. Great job. Beautiful. That's perfect. Yep. Really, really Soul great. Trim. I'm just flushing real quick Super too. Well, it's not oh, jumping. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sample jar two. Yes. Oh, there yes. it goes now. Oh! oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> Coming back a little bit late. Um, I <laughs> think he's going to try and take his arms wow. back. <laughs> oh my! Oh, no, so oh don't my come here, please. <laughs> oh, this is not a good place for you. Oh wow! Wow, wow. Um, my friends. Are you okay um, halting the so arm, cool. and I'll just pick up um. <laughs> and see if we can. That's uh, oh too soon. <laughs> <laughs> go wide, oh, please. Wow. There you go. Nice. Oh. oh, very well done, Oh Violet. wow! Nice. I don't okay, think you that can go for zoom. Can be considered just jumping. That's full on. That's a flying float <laughs> swimming. <laughs> yeah, flying. Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Oh wow! The jumping. I want to follow him, but we're in a very yeah. awkward position. <laughs> no, problem. Yeah. no problem. No um, problem. Oh. I'll do as much as I can. Excellent. That's very nice. Okay, you. this is one of my favorites. The jumping wow. anemone. It's amazing. It's base mm -hmm. is so. Serianthus. Serianthus. So it's not an anem anemone. It is. It an is. An it's a type of anemone. Yeah. Very zoom video. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we never doubt it, Uesako. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming. Oh my. It's so cool. Really beautiful. <laughs> Our yeah. scientist is sure Asako is very excited and says this is a very rare sample. So, excellent job. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Whoa. Can you go a little wider video? This Thank is quite right something. There. Oh, there's an arm there. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. I'm sorry. It really seems oh, like it knows, the it, it knows where its tentacles are. It knows where its pieces like, are, <laughs> almost. Yeah. Give it back. I would yeah, almost like, think that there was a little tether <laughs> between them, but we know that there isn't. <laughs> wow. Can you uh, just go in a little bit on high pack here? Or Namji? Wow. I'm not... Does it know that its legs are there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the fa phantom, phantom limb. Can you come up on Argus a little bit? It seems really Actually, committed. can you do some Argus stuff for a little bit? Okay. I'll <laughs> make sure I'm on the craft valve here. Just do some babysitting to make sure that, because I'm getting a little far away, and I would love to get more of this, oh my goodness. if possible. You can push in just a little bit, video. He almost looks like a jellyfish like this. Yeah. yeah or an octopus. <laughs> so crazy. 
It's waving. <laughs> or is it going to give me that arm back? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I think I might be starting to get tugged. Yep, that that's that's fine. We can we can move on whenever. This has been really you, really. Do you guys helpful. feel pretty good about that video? That's amazing. Yes. Yeah, yes, really really good. Do. Beautiful. Uh, if we start moving, further, I don't yeah. want to let go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems to calm down a little bit. Or it feels like uh, I wonder how much energy expense it takes to swim away. Wow, that's a really great shot. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nice. Whew, that, that was really fun. Very well. exciting. Nice. Yeah. Bye, little one. Thank All right. you. <laughs> let's secure the sample when you have a chance. Yeah. Let's sort ourselves out and then... Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Up until we just a second ago, I thought it was following us. <laughs> I thought so too. Yep. If we get this into the slurp and then see that it has it come chases back. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to back down right now and I'll end up right where you are. That was the first swimming images and video of a Serianthus ever. Wow. wow. And it's also the first sample of it. And it's also unusual that it's on rocks instead of sediment. So it's very, very well done to everybody. Yay, very great. exciting Yay. job, Gabby Yay. and Kylie. Yeah, sorry. I was going to wait, but <laughs> we're too excited. A little too excited back here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay, tether wraps. Get that out. Thank you. That was a beautiful sample. Both of those samples, two in a row. Very yeah. impressive. Great collections. Great dive so far. Great watch yeah. so far. Yeah. <laughs> Things are turning around. That was a beautiful creature. Yeah. That was, really, that was yeah. so astonishing. Incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Let's see what we've got going on here. So... We can go, we're flushed. We're going to go to the second jar. And I'm going to give you all the percents because there's lots of flowy stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that they're going to be very, like, they're designed to flow in the breeze really a lot. So I think they're just going to go right in. I don't think it will be a big deal at all. Our viewers are very excited. Yeah, they say y'all are killing it. Well, not literally, but you know. Also, I have to say that was the right type of sample for that critter. Definitely. Like yes. that was the right way to do that. <laughs> Perfect. And it was done perfectly. So, like, because we got so much more out of the video. Than yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah. I and it, it's it was so big, and I really didn't. It, it's better this way. Yeah. Mm. 
I don't think I've ever seen somebody snip in an, in an enemy before. Yeah, I don't think so either. That's why I was kind of unsure about it. <laughs> Worked out. I'm sure it tried to. I'm sure it stung the arm, but the arm. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna center you up a little more so maybe we can get a little zoomed. Let's try and get it's uh, trying let's to get, get a little zoom. Got one in there for sure. You got two? Got two. Three. That's nice. it, right there. Yeah, let's You're, you're not locked, so you should just be able to. There you go. Nice. There you go. Nice. Beautifully done. And oh, it's there in we go. There. Awesome. Oh. Fantastic. Amazing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Very well done. So there one there might be some that are stuck and you might want to actually do like a rotate. Yeah. There they go. Beauty. That's all of nice. them. Nice. Wow. Perfect. Really well done. Very successful sample stop, so. Killer. Very much so. These these nice outcroppings of rocks seem to be really good for these. Yep. Yes. I know, I want to every time. <laughs> okay, cap valve off. You may blue button. Okay. Amazing. How so are we going to follow a jumping, swimming an enemy? <laughs> is yeah. that like a really long lip cord over there? Or is that like a shadow to the left? So I felt like, oh, you, uh, something to the left? I just, it looks like a really long whip coral. Okay. It like, really does. Like, do this you? One? Yeah. 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 I still want to talk about the anemone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's Look just that like guy. abnormally long wow. looking. Wow. So many different types of coral over on Yeah, these. let's get a couple yeah. of quick zooms here. Um, so Go zoom? Yeah, on this one, exactly. Ooh, that's oh, that's nice. Oh, there's uh, like soft three. coral. Gabby's reading my mind. <laughs> he, that was the standout one on yeah. of all, the, of all <laughs> yes. of this. Yes. I guess that makes sense. I also really like these kinds of corals. Yeah. Like the soft corals are really yes. neat. They're so cute. I agree. Oh, and some brittle stars as well. Nice. You know, it might be a corallid. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay, go wide. So that's a few of them. Let's see what else we got. I'm gonna do a quick gauge check. Yeah. What else did you want to look at? The On really here. long the whip. whip cool. Yeah, the yeah. long okay. one. Yep. has some sort of attachment in the metal there. Probably an associate or carnivorous yeah. something. <laughs> um. Okay, let's uh, not go for zoom yet because I'm hung up. Oh, okay, go for zoom. Crazy gorget down there. Oh. Bryozoan maybe. 
Uh, it looks like it's been predated. On. Maybe. Is that a snail? Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know either. Oh, wow. Whoa. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. And then we got a Chrysogorgia to the bottom right. Oh, yeah. yes. You can go in a little bit more. I have no idea what that is. No, me neither. Ooh, a black coral whip. It looks like a Sako is saying. Hmm. Oh. Okay, go wide. Is that what you wanted to see there? Yes, yes. that's perfect. Um, is that a Victagorgia down there, the purple? It looks like it, yeah. I, I think didn't so. see it. Oh, just over here. When close up, uh, when we did the close up of the octocoral and then panned left, it looked kind of white. It only started looking kind of purple when we zoomed back oh, out. Oh, really? Okay. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you... I think you're right. Right there. Oh. Wow. Usually I see that purple really well. Yeah. It's sort of pale. Yeah. Paler than usual. Can we get a zoom on it? Yeah, go for zoom. Oh, oh. a couple of them, it looks like. Oh, yeah. It's like a couple bases, so one, yeah, at least maybe three. Three, yeah. It, it doesn't look as bright purple as... Yeah, often they're brighter yeah. than that. Yeah, like a little lavender a little color. Do you have what you need there? Yep. Oh, yes. That's good, thank you. Okay. Um, all right, I think we can, we can start moving along here. All right. So... Let's continue to waypoint seven. Roger that. Okay, stand by one while I just sort myself out here. Okie doke. Um, our once we make this step, our bearing is gonna be zero two five. Um, I am sorry, I did it again. I have to turn around. Um, okay, I think I did too, so. Okay. Tether management time, housekeeping time. Okay. Do you want to go first? Because um, I'm going to do zero, two, five, and I, yeah, I've got to go all the way around. Why don't you go first? Okay. I'm in a good position. I can look at these things for a little while longer while you do that. Okay, awesome. Thank you. That's a sponge. Where are you looking? Uh, just off to the upper left. Upper it's left. It's right off the screen. There it is. It's up here. Oh, yeah. I don't see it. I think, like, maybe it's because I'm wearing glasses today. <laughs> just not <laughs> seeing things it, like shouldn't usual. Shouldn't that have it's the opposite? It is white, and it's blending <laughs> in. It, it should blend. It should have the very, opposite very effect. Oh, I well. see. Okay, yep. Gotcha. <laughs> it should have the opposite effect. Ugh. Oh, it's one of those like tulip sponges. <laughs> Go for zoom. There's quite a bit of current here. Ooh. That's oh, probably yeah. why they're so happy. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Oh. Ooh. Stirring up some of that that sediment. I think it's probably a sponge smorgasbord when I when I stir <laughs> up the sediment. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Mixing up all those nutrients. Feast. Go on. Probably getting a bit of a tug. You can push halfway in. You can go further in. Nice. What's that over to port there on the other side? Just 
right in the corner. Uh, it's a chrysogorgid, I think, if I looked out okay, what you on. were thinking about. Yeah, I think so. And I think it might be one classified as remol Ooh, you this said is a new one for me. Remolagorgia. Sorry, left. Left. Oh, don't be sorry. I think I just misheard you. I'm like, she said a direction. I don't know which one it was. I'm just going <laughs> to guess one. It was just directly across that little uh, crevice from the sponge there. Oh. Huh. Is it in there somewhere? Yeah, it's it's just it's not the most interesting looking thing. It's uh, it's, like, <laughs> it's a lot like sand, oh, but yeah. it, it, it's kind of like coming <laughs> off of the rock a bit. I, I think it's it. like was to the left of no, no to the right of that um, tulip sponge. I said the wrong direction. <laughs> right. it, that is on me. Okay, I don't see it. Over just a Over. bit. There. Maybe. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, I think I was thinking of something completely different. You oh, see right there, it's like okay. brown. <laughs> I'm gonna do some tether management, go wide. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about something completely different. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, oh no, like we're perfect. I don't yeah. have to do anything. Um, we can get the ship going. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, you ready? Let's go find something to top the jumping in enemy. Let's <laughs> do it. pointing at sand patches. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge nav. Would we actually be able to take a look at that little rock that's up at the top? How big is that? Over to the right now. Okay. Yeah, that looks that uh, looks big. Could we step five zero meters bearing zero two five? Oh yeah, that's huge. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, they usually are. <laughs> Probably. Blazers. The yes. crest of is the there a problem with, us? with that? Is that hard? <laughs> We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> mean Herc can't pick up a whole sea map. <laughs> you just grab it with a gripper arm and then what go if you up with the course force infinity. What if you use both <laughs> arms to grab it? <laughs> <laughs> He's picking up the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that even possible to use both of the manipulator yeah. arms to collect? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got a C pen and maybe some urchins around here. Lots of tracks. Is this more of a basalt area? What was that? Is this more of a basalt area? What we're looking at now is definitely sediment. Um, but where we were just, the rocks we were just looking at, um, those look like basalt to me. I thought earlier maybe we were looking at some carbonates, but, yeah. um, but those look pretty angular. It's a bit hard to tell because everything, um, all the rocks around here are covered in a crust which is dark and kind of, it's hard to see what the, the rock on the inside looks like. So sometimes we're collecting rocks that we think are basalts and then they turn out to be carbonates. Um, but I think based on the fracturing we saw and the ones that we were just looking at, mm -hmm. I think those were basalts, so. Terrain. <laughs> uh, I think you're pulling me. <laughs> it was very speedy. <laughs>
So after we complete this expedition in Kingman Reef, is this the seamount? Is it gonna be named? Like, so we've been saying this is an unnamed seamount, right? Naming seamounts is a really long process. Mm. It, it requires there's a uh, there's a like I don't know if you would call them a committee or a council. Mm -hmm. um, but they meet about the names of the seamounts. It's like a very actually involved procedure. I think it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how do they name a seamount? It's very involved. It take <laughs> and it takes years. Let's get a zoom. <laughs> oh, sea pen, love it. Nice, nice sea pen. Go on. Are you centered on anything with NavG right now? Oh uh, yeah, it should be centered on the ship still, but for whatever reason, I it wouldn't really center doesn't like, that. like. Sometimes it's nice to just sort of manipulate it yourself. Yeah. Like, do you, like, please let me know. It won't. <laughs> Is there any way to, like, not have it center on something? I'm actually not sure <laughs> once you've... Uh, I want it to not be centered. I want to, I want to like, make adjustments. <laughs> There's no going back. Yeah. Okay, I gotcha. Thank you for tuning in to Nautilus Live from Belfast. Okay. Okay, well, there's more rocks to look at off to the left, so <laughs> you, that, that can be my consolation prize. Could we do a zoom real quick right here? A little yep. left of the lasers. Yep, I'm thinking that's now that I'm that's a Holothurian. Okay, give me a zoom. You did it. Oh, and he's got some sediment inside. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> a full belly. <laughs> okay, go on. Did you do it? Did you get it? Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. Okay, oh, that's fine. Yeah. I might be able to get it too, if that's okay by you. Like, move it if we need to. I just, it's super awesome to be able to keep the, ve the ship center and the vehicle center both in view, but still keep a 20 meter grid spacing. That's like, that's the dream. Hmm. At least two different types of coral. One black yep. coral, mm. one... Go for zoom. Not quite sure what that one is. We got a plexor too. Uh, maybe a chrysogorgid? Or is that a rock? No, oh, that's, that's a actually a different one wow. than I thought. Yeah, that's a chrysogorgid, I think. Not sure what kind. <laughs> oh, got a little squat lobster oh, yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. Associate. <laughs> Go 
go a little wider. Okay. That's crying to you. And what is what is that oh, little? Rats. Oh, is that another urchin? Orange um, urchin? Maybe. maybe. It looks Let's like it. it up. That's okay. <laughs> We're just sort of waiting on the ship and everything to start to get moving right now. So I'm All right. just puttering around. Actually, can you go wide video? Okay. Okay, now you can push past everything. Great, thank you. Yeah. Uh, quick pilot change while we're waiting on the ship. Sounds good. Oh, there's current. Yeah, there is. Ooh, yeah, I see it now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, C pen? Looks like Good it. Jobs. A video zoom. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> Oopsie. You come wide. Thank you. We got all caught up with the sample. Yeah. That's like something to journal about, really, <laughs> as far as experiences go. <gasps> there were two A plus samples in a row. That's amazing. Amber, do you like this rock? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about, next what about that one? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, not they're the only ones I see. <laughs> <laughs> Give the people what Who they are want. you saying don't encourage? Me or? <laughs> yes, it's see, I just like the, you know, the slight little bamboo corals. <laughs> to if be only fair, they came up more I didn't often. collect any of the rocks. None of that weight is because of me. You did show astonishing restraint. <laughs> we're very proud of <laughs> to you. To be fair, for the most part, we were in carbonates, I <laughs> yeah. think. It oh, was okay. only at our last con collection site oh, with okay. the uh, Cerianthus that looked kind of nice and kind of more uh, basaltic.
Are we really that heavy right now, though, with just three rock samples and a few slurps? We're fine. <laughs> Vehicle's still positively buoyant. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, is my bar too low? <laughs> It's working. Yep. <laughs> hey, pilots, I've got a question for you from the audience. It's actually a quite nicely worded one. If you have a minute. Yeah. yeah. So is the tension monitoring a new tool to help prevent Argus from becoming benthic again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was incredibly diplomatically <laughs> phrased. Yes, yes. I, I figured I needed to that look was, over and, and I have mention to that give one. them credit. Yeah. That's that's a big part of it. We're just um we also have like this is a pretty new cable and we're just trying to learn how to be the best stewards of it as possible. Ah. Um we've got seven thousand meters of new cable on. Um and we feel pretty lucky to have it and we want to take good care of it. And if you damage it, like in these really deep waters, like we could potentially have to cut like 3,000 meters of it off or something Ooh. like that. Like you don't want that. <laughs> um, so just trying to be good stewards of the equipment because it's expensive and nice and that sort of thing. But yeah, um, a lot of it is about trying to manage the, the loading on the termination that connects Argus to the cable. Nice. And I think we should remember that and use that phrase. Argus becoming benthic. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> A video zoom. Pretty good, Steph. That looks like an urchin. Yeah. Long, Long spine. <laughs> Creative name. Oops. Okay, come wide. Could we step? Zero five zero meters at zero two five three. Five zero meters zero two five. Thank you. Did you add extra number? Yeah, I said zero five zero, and then that oh, was I heard at at point two five three, or I don't know. I thought I was like, wow. That's uh, there was no decimals. <laughs> <laughs> My brain. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't matter. Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Inconsequential. Am I seeing a bit of a trend here that any time I say that I'm looking for a rock, we go further into sediment land? <laughs> I think it's a sign. <laughs> see, see, you got to do things like don't read the dive plan, and then we'll have a full dive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I Listen, do. that I worked. You <laughs> laugh, but that I know, worked. I know. I know I'm saying she's got to come up with a superstitious thing to <laughs> I get her rocks. It. I didn't do it this time either. <laughs> well, really, we're on our way to more rocks. That's what's happening. Like Both uh, Steve and Amber did anymore. say I'd find <laughs> the worst first brancher, and I found my first brancher. <laughs> Actually, All our dreams are time. coming true. Just one at a time. Just one dive. That's right. <laughs> to be fair, I got a really, really nice rock our first complete dive. It <laughs> potentially had some fresh olivine in it. Yes, I remember this one. <laughs> okay, I have geologists here. I wanna ask them about things. Okay, no. so <laughs> olivine, olivine rings a bell. Ringwoodite, tell me more please. Ringwoodite? Yeah. <laughs> Why are we going to talk about rainwater? <laughs> because Bob Waters sent me an article a couple days ago about how something like one to three times the entire Earth's ocean worth of water is stored in ringwoodite near a mantle boundary. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, so. I want to hear more. 
Whatever. What is ringwoodite? I'm it's an actually. Thing. What is an olivine thing? <laughs> right. So, okay. Okay. Can, wait. Can wait. I test my past geology? And I'm probably gonna say this so wrong. Yes. All right. I go have for not it. taken a go geology class it. since my freshman year of college. Here we go. Here we go. Is it? It's a type of igneous, like mineral, right? And is it cool quickly? Or one of the? I'm trying to think of that chart. Oh, the Bowen's reaction series? The Bowen's series? reaction series. So uh, yes. that works here, but it doesn't. Okay. Think of the different polymorphs of, <laughs> let's say, is it polymorphs or pseudomorphs? I'm thinking of all, all uh, crazy things this I couldn't early tell morning. you the difference. So you know how sylmanite, kyanite, and andalusite are all the same chemical formula, but they mm -hmm. exist at different temperatures and pressures? Think of that with ringwoodite and olivine. So is it like a different mineral? Not mineral. Ooh, what's like? It's a high temperature phase okay. of uh, magnesium <laughs> silicate. Okay. So it has kind of the same form, it, well, the same basic formula as olivine, but it will form very, very deep. So according to Wikipedia, between 525 and 660 kilometers. So it's, if I remember correctly, I don't remember if this is for the Earth or the Moon though, 660 kilometers is one of our seismic discontinuities. And yes, I think I see the exact thing that Bob might have been looking at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that yes, one too. Yes, this is a gem discovery points to subterranean oceans. I don't think it. I don't think they actually mean ocean, though. I think yeah. they actually mean no, there's yeah, a lot it's, of it's chemical it's water, like yes. a lot of H two O is attached somehow to all these olivines. Yeah, the one point five percent weight of water in this sort of transitional zone down there. So okay, hold on, but. If ringwoodite is an olivine, where is the water? Because so ringwoodite is also cool because I think we've mostly seen it in like s space rocks, right? Yes, that's right. It and Ooh, sometimes it guy. comes up from volcanoes embedded in diamonds. Video zoom. Ooh, that's what I read about too. And a bunch of other of those transitional phases of olivine come up that way too and that's the only way we get to see if they're real yeah so it contains up to 2.6 weight percent water Oops. Uh, ah yeah on. it's one of the spinel group and mm -hmm. so yes higher pressures upper mantle Thought to be the most abundant mineral phase in the lower part of our transition zone. Provides of the significant water in the form of hydroxide in the mantle. So the one thing the article said is that this might give some sort of some some information about why we are an ocean planet. Um, having having these like tons of water stored below the surface like this, like might be how you end up with an ocean planet. I don't know, sounded cool. Well, yeah, so that goes kind of into sort of the origin of how did we get water on the planet, especially on the surface and keep it there? Uh, did we get it from comets? Did we get it from meteorites? Or, you know, did we already have it? And it was already like say locked in ringwoodite and was subsequently released. Um, so that probably goes into that debate a little bit, that um, if we got it from extraterrestrial sources like comets and meteorites, which I think we know that at least some portion did come from meteorites, um, that when did that happen and how would that water then get into the mantle to form into the ringwoodite and get locked in there and what sort of time scales and everything did all these processes happen and is it even possible for that sort of process to happen or 
did the presence of all the ringwoodite and all the water that's locked inside mean that we already had some components of water already deep in the earth and volcanism and other processes that um, later release the water? Something that I do not study <laughs> at all, so I can't really help with that. Okay, so basically ringwoodite can be potentially used to solve the chicken and egg problem. Was there water first or was there something else? Like kind where the water of, yes. came from? Yes. It's also very good for um, the physics and the dynamics, the geothermal dynamics of the mantle. And so kind of in a very broad respect, goes into um, my studies of volcanism and how um, the source, which is volcanism, all everything is coming down from up from the mantle of how all those processes and melting of the mantle actually works. Cool. Great. We got to talk about ringwoodite. That was <laughs> all Woo! I really wanted. That was Thank not you. a Thank mineral you I expected you to know about. I actually Thank had to Thank you for look it humoring up. me there. <laughs> Always happy to talk about rocks and minerals. Can we talk about ocean basins, Amber? What about ocean basins? Ooh, so good segue. Ooh, <laughs> the ocean basin is chemically, it, it, I mean, fundamentally different than continents, right? You yes. have continents yes. and you have oceans. Uh, but the plate tectonics of the Earth, I, I guess what, how do ocean basins Ooh, sea pen. form why are they different and how do they interact with actual continents these are my questions oh my oh. goodness very broad Great that questions. is such a Video complex thing? i could we could go <laughs> lectures and lectures and lectures about this <laughs> this just goes into the entire concept and the theory behind plate tectonics as a whole so so let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> let's see uh, where to start this, this game. Okay. So our ocean basins are typically very mafic. So let's say basaltic volcanic rock. It is dense and it comes from the very top of the mantle. So very shallow um, sort of uh, melting. And it comes from divergent plate boundaries. So you have two plates that are sort of spreading apart from each other and in between uh, 